Everything comes to you at the right time. Wow, that's actually really insightful and brings a lot of peace to the panic of like missing out. No, nope, you're too busy being insightful and didn't cross the bridge and you just missed it. See, it's a clock. It's constantly moving. You missed the right time. You failed. Hurt me, abuse me, cheat on me, mistreat me. Just don't leave me. I do not care how unhealthy this sounds on a psychological level, but you are why sometimes in very minute circumstances, victim blaming is acceptable. Oh, no. No. Oh, sweet summer child. Someone left their study notes out in the open. Deep thoughts. What if air is poisonous, but it takes 75 to 100 years to kill us? What if we're a person's solar system project? Both of those theories are valid. Now you have the opportunity to either research ways to prove these things or look into it more, or be like anyone else on TikTok or Facebook receiving new information and develop a huge conspiratorial conclusion about it. Elementary school. Look at all of us. A big gang like we're in an anime. Middle school. Okay, some of us weren't popular. Also, the animators were tight on a Budget, so we're just kind of mi we're minimizing the group, but uh, we're still good. We're, we're still a good tight gang. High school. Wow, I was I was not expecting them to just k kill them off like that. I was um, oh, that was brutal. Wow, we really went through a dark phase. There. But okay, no, we're good though. Four of us, all with our distinct personality traits. You know, we we we're still got a vibe going. It's it's gonna be fine. We're gonna make it. College. Hey, hey, we're gonna we're gonna be fine, right? Well, one of us went to another college, and the other. Well, I don't think we can really forgive them for what they did. Yeah, yeah, no. I I guess it's just part of life that some friendships fall apart. But, you know, we're, we're going to be tight. Yeah. We're going to be close. Oh, we'll, yeah, no, totally. We'll still be together through all this, right? We'll support each other. Yeah, I won't leave you. Graduation. Congratulations to our singular student graduating. Wow, we really hunger gamed your life. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's your college debt. Good luck finding a job. Wow, Bart Simpson with black broken heart in his hair with an error message on his eyeballs like sunglasses. That's totally me. Oh, I better have a phone switch setting on the side there that says it's broken, but it's currently off. So, you know, I'm unbroken, but it's possible I could be, you know? It's easy to look sharp when you haven't done anything. That's right, gents. If you're balding, it's not because of a genetic failure and something to be ashamed of and getting bullied for it it's because you work hard that's why that's why you age faster than everyone else around you and in the end the eye is actually just a collection of organs blood and bones we are fragile like a ball of meat people who generate human beings are very carnivorous disgusting and bloodthirsty I'm referring to natalists okay so carnivorous isn't even a word so I'm going to assume they meant carnivorous to which uh, okay um <laughs> People don't have babies to eat them. <laughs> what, what was your childhood? Are you like are you like the, the offspring of Hannibal or something? You know what? No, hang on. Yep, okay. On average, 90 days, so two months. So yeah, uh, three times that, not really worth the yield, you know? Thanks for letting me vent to you. Yeah, no props. But you know I'm not really here anymore, right? Oh, sorry, just pooped out the last of my pelvic floor. I'm really decomposing here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a TikTok that's just confirmation bias poon? Let's check the comments. I wonder how they'll be. Even though nobody really tried making me happy nor care, but yeah, sorry for everybody. <laughs> oh, for real, it left me broken. Don't get used like a band-aid. For both boys and girls. I'm six foot, by the way. Haha, <laughs> can't agree more. I thought she needed help, but now feels like I need it more. Can't feel the same energy in me as I used to be feels weaker every single day that passes well look at your profile picture there's your problem you, you're asleep all the time you silly goose i i can't even understand what the hell this is trying to say it's not necessary how you are your child should like that child we do not like you okay but why we you uh, <laughs> we, we don't, don't know. know am i allowed to Cry. I wasn't going to pay this Taylor Swift image too much mind, but then I noticed it's in grayscale at all. Oh, oh, the emotions. Oh, my heart. I need surgery. The strings, they're being tugged and torn. There are two types of people. I'm in a hole and this rock is swearing cursive language at me. Yeah, you f***. Yeah, you c***. You're a f***ing c***. I'm bashing this rock against its relatives for daring to curse at me. Ah! Oh, 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 sorry! 
I'm sorry. Ow. Which one are you? Do you tolerate people being rude to you? Or do you make an example of them by bludgeoning their own body against their own family and relatives and loved ones? You have to pick one. There are only two types of people after all. Which one are you? This is this is your astrology now. Hey, Cupid, nice to meet you. Say, uh, want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Just leave me like everyone else. Wow, what a great intro into the kind of conversations we'll have on this social platform. Anything else about you? Everything hurts. Really? Like, actually? Everything hurts? You're not just dramatizing your own mental health issues through your profile picture alone? Like, okay, if that's literally the case, then... <laughs> oh, I should call an ambulance, but... Oh, first, I gotta update my Discord description about myself. Please tell me this is, like, from 2009. Is is Gen Alpha slash Gen Z bringing, bringing back emo? Is that always still been around? I... I hope not. <laughs> People I want to punch in the face. <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> I actually really like that. That's very well done. Click to die. Well, that is ridiculously unsafe. Like, anyone could accidentally click that. Like, well, I mean, I thank God it's not working. I love that this is trying to imply that the man is silly for not trying to get water in another way. But if anything, it's also a great criticism on resources because that woman clearly has a lot more barrels to utilize than this gentleman. It's like calling someone an idiot because they buy the $20 shoes that always break apart after a few months instead of spending $150 on some good shoes, not realizing that that's the only kind of shoes they can afford right now. Friend, love. Well, love seems to apparently be levitating and their fingers look weird. So at least the friend is human. But for the sake of keeping this PG, that's those are just silver flames because they're torches because it's his second birthday. Ooh, what's this? A beautiful red carpet, a giant welcome sign. Look, there's someone uncomfortably sitting up on the pedestal playing an acoustic guitar. Ooh, look, there's even a scaly furry person giving me free stuff in my B rubbish bag? But little do these foolish humans not realize that by going down this path, they get picked up by some giant demonic creatures and thrown into a giant rave party that's down there off the cliff. Woo, there you go, free trip. Ah, but little did they realize if they just walked to the left and dumped away their belongings. You know, all those valuable things of yours that actually, you know, uh, partake in you having a prosperous life in this world. Yeah, just conveniently dump them right in front of the entrance to the church. But don't worry, it goes to a good cause, because by the by the pastor getting a second private jet, he'll be closer to God. So go on, give away everything that is valuable to you, and walk on this path through the woods. This is the right thing to do, because I drew it that way. Oh... Oh, showing the tragedy that is the exhaustion of having to put up a mask all the time, despite all your insecurities and issues, through my little pony. That's the medium you're expressing it through. I <laughs> I, f I don't know how I feel saying this, but honestly, it's a good example. <laughs> People who trust the government. A nice fresh whiff of rushing water. The government. Incredible. Really goes to show that the government will do whatever it can to keep its constituents hydrated. The hose may be broken. We may be out of raw water, but I'll be damned if I don't let my people enjoy some hydration. <laughs> Never forget what I do for you! The deepness in this photo. Um... Yeah? I don't know, man. I feel that really disrespects the depressing mental health issues that this man developed as they got older. Like, you're implying that he was just putting it on. It was just a mask. He could have just taken an elf whenever he wanted. But no, he committed to it because he was afraid of the repercussions that people saw the real him. You're not even old enough to know how bad life gets. Mmm, I see a sunrise in this video. Looks like a 12-year-old posting a video about how these older people, they just, they don't understand how much harder life is for our generation nowadays. Which is so silly. Remember, guys, this is just a chapter of your story. Yeah, I'm 12. I'm, I've experienced so much. I'm 13, but nothing good happened yet. I lost all the good things. Try 14? What's the worst part? Because I thought 11 was bad, then 12, then 13. None of them even close to 14. And it only gets worse. A job interview is where you have to prove you're worthy of staying alive in this world by pretending that you're dead. What are you talking about? They always advertise that they're looking for enthusiastic, spontaneous, hard-working, and lively co-workers. And other blatant buzzwords that they don't actually care to look for or cater to the moment they hire you. We're all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. I see we're dipping our toes into the world of AI images becoming our deep and insightful meme imagery. Y'all will never understand the pain. Y'all just listen to the songs. Hey, I 
to. Speak for yourself. Yep, plenty of people. No, you're right. I won't understand the pain. I do just listen to the songs. <gasps> You monster! That moment when you realized the key to unlocking your true potential was inside you all along. Yeah, you go ahead and carve a crater of a hole in your own flesh and bone. You, you let me know how that goes to find your true potential. Woman's body is found in apartment. Details as they unfold. This is breaking news. A serial killer has been apprehended and this was what they look like. Oh my god, he looks like an incel. Oh, of course, he looks a like a gross misogynist. What a perverted Ugh. freak. Give him the we death not penalty. See coming? Uh, Sorry, folks, don't doubt we had the wrong image. This is the actual serial killer who's been apprehended. Oh, no, wait, he has to be innocent. Oh, well, killers usually he have just a traumatic made childhood. Oh, I would Someone still give him a chance. understand him. I just feel so bad for him. Oh, my God, I never fathomed that hot people are more liked. Hollywood movies always casting hot people to play the main characters and video games never adhering to realistic body physics? Uh, oh, I was never prepared for this bias. The lion did not get to be king of the jungle because it was easy. Really? By Rorden Gracie. Let's just let's just fact check this. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Literally an AI generated like joke that's been going for two years now. I just Google imaged uh, Rorden Gracie, and uh, here's another quote from him. I am a shark. The ground is my ocean, and most people can't even swim. You can't do anything about the length of your life, but you can do something about its width and depth. <laughs> Sure, I only have two weeks to live, but I've spent my time learning how to speedrun Minecraft in less than 15 minutes. Life doesn't end when you lose yourself for a bit. Hey, look, you know what? That is true. Sometimes you might go down a bit of the wrong path and lose your way in some regard. Or have an experience where you lose a part of yourself. But you'll be fine. A man established a zoo and made the entrance fee $300, but no one went there. He reduced it to $200, but still, no one came. He then reduced the fee to $10. But still, people didn't come. Finally, he made it free entrance. And soon, the zoo was filled with people. Then he quietly locked the gate of the zoo, set the lions free, and made the exit fee $500, and everyone paid. Hashtag moral, moral of the story. story. As you go about in life, beware of cheap or free offers. They can be terrible. No business is free, my friends. Ha! Class dismissed. Shout out to livers for handling what the heart cannot. <laughs> What is that to imply the heart is weak? Ah, uh, <laughs> stupid heart are only handling the most vital, like, supply of the human body to, you know, actually exist and live and breathe. Unlike the liver, yeah, it can take on that's literally poison for our bodies <laughs> and deal with it for us. <laughs> All lives are equal, but only in death. It's kind of hard to tell which side this is coming from, but I'm going to argue it comes from someone who doesn't like the fact they have to respect other people that aren't them now. She always wears black, but she has the most colorful mind. Okay, but her hair is spaghetti, so that's gross. What a gross woman. Ew. Yuck, yuck. Five mistakes of my life. One, I don't cheat. <laughs> Two, I care everyone. Three, EM soft heart person. Four, if I love, I stay loyal. Five, I attached too much. Dude hasn't even grown up to start a receding hairline and already thinks this of himself. The irony about the nicest of people is that they can be the meanest of people once you cross the limit. Oh no, not the people who are actually always mean and just pretend to be nice. Oh, oh no, wait, you mean the nice people who when they do get mean, they're just more so sulking in front of you? Right, gotcha. Observe the definition of love. Noun, a strong feeling that you have when you like somebody or something very much. For example, a mother's love for her children. Two, a strong feeling of interest in or enjoyment of something. A love of adventure, nature, or sport. Verb, to like somebody or something in the strongest possible way. Ah, oh, but guys, guys, not binary pals. This is all nonsense, apparently. Literally just screenshotted the Google definition of love and added, only for the text it was nice to see. When it comes to reality, it was sucks. No one loved without any reason. Oh my gosh, people have to be worthy of love? I love nothing. Nothing, nothing says emotional stability like being too afraid to emote anymore. If Abbey Road was released today. Mate, this ain't deep. This is a boomer meme. No 14-year-old would post this. I hope. Otherwise, dear God. 
It's an Ouroboros cycle of memery. When I was little, I thought the thief dressed up like this. I grew up to learn that he actually dresses up like this. Oh my god, th again, this is not a 14-year-old's meme. Gen Alphas, what are you doing? You were meant to destroy the boomers, not become them. I I listen to music every day. Oh my gosh, that's so unique of a human being. I bet they like food, travel, and adventures as well. Success jerks you up. Off. Wait, what? In private. No, wait, wait, what? Failure fricks you in public. Why does your career aspirations have so much to do with fornication? Are you, do you have an OnlyFans or something? That's life. It's a very deep quote, folks, because he's holding his finger up to his temple and it's grayscale, which as we know is just so deep. Ah, help, I'm falling into the depths of this meme. It's so deep. Ah, someone give me a ladder. Six deep quotes on life and self-care. One, Japanese wisdom. If it's not yours, don't take it. If it's not right, don't do it. If it's not true, don't say it. If you don't know, shut up. I don't really know what it says about a lot of people when the kind of lessons you learned in grade one are considered deep and insightful. Childhood pics look dumb, but at least the smiles were real. You know, this might blow your mind, but you actually were sad as a kid sometimes too. The only reason you still smiled as a kid at photos was because back then, in an ironic twist of it being a good thing, you were too dumb to actually, you know, stick your mind into focusing on all the depressing things around you. You'd be crying about one thing and then an hour later be happily playing with your toys. It's never wrong to do the right thing. Gotta love those general words of advice that anyone could uh, extrapolate to be their own cause of justification. I don't care that you all hate me for nuking the moon. Mark Twain has my my back. You left me on red. Can I ask you something? Uh, sure. Do you like even want to talk to me? You said the shortest replies to me now, and you don't even bother to talk. Do I annoy you or something? Because if I am, please tell me so I stop wasting my time trying to get you to talk to me. Could be someone who just naturally doesn't engage in text conversations as much as they do face to face, but sure. Blasting at them with accusations and your own insecurities will really make them want to change their tune. Okay, here we have a photo of a bunch of animals with cigarettes in their mouths, and the tagline, it looks just as stupid when you do it. Like, oh no, that chicken, that dog, the duck, the horse. I'm, there's <laughs> nothing stupid about the way they look. What they look, how do they look cooler? Oh no. I thought I am special until I realized that you talk to everyone like that. Oh no, you had to check your narcissism. Oh, you are the victim here, aren't you? That person who respects everyone else too, they're the problem. You could stab me in the chest and I'd still apologize for getting my blood blood on your clothes. I don't want to wipe away the coffee stains. They stayed while you left. <laughs> What kind of bar is that where you compare a good relationship to, <laughs> to the last time you cleaned your shelf? Is your ideal partner a cockroach or something? Oh, I just love how they leave dirty crumbs as they walk by everywhere. Mm. When this line gets straight, everyone loves you. It's beautiful how they try to imply this is some sort of bad or sad thing. Meanwhile, in the r slash Snyder cut. Snyder from a different point of view. I think I finally understand Snyder, specifically why he's divisive in America, but not in other countries, as well as why I couldn't understand him before. His mindset ain't Western media, but Eastern, especially Japanese. <sighs> The way Superman and his morals are usually depicted is a very Western way. He doesn't kill, he cares, he saves cats from trees, as American and Western as they come. Snyder seemed to have uh, combined the fighting spirit of Goku, Goku, with the stoic nature of heroes like Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. Lex as a villain is less traditional Lex and more like the insane villain trope, such as the Major from Helsing and Light from Death Note. Wow. That's, that's an amazing comparison. Um, this is beautiful. Wonder Woman is like Asuka from Neon Genesis Evangelion and the bloodthirsty fire tongue woman trope. Ah, uh, yes. That originated in Japan only. We'll just ignore early signs of this sort of character in works such as Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew. The music is also like this, with Superman's theme being like a hero who is near dead but rises up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wonder Woman's theme would fit right in with an anime opening and Lex's theme matching that insane villain trope. Like, 
Eastern movies, Snyder could have quiet moments and introspective poetic dialogue. Unlike filthy Western movies, and we all know about how his fight scenes are inspired by Dragon Ball Z. In hindsight, this should have been obvious, given how his inspirations are often European and Eastern works that are inspired by that style. He loves Excalibur, Heavy Metal Magazine, as that overseas extreme style. John Campbell took a lot of his story breakdowns from ancient tradition on Eastern cultures, and we know how much Frank Miller loves Japan. In my opinion, we should stop looking at the West to explain Snyder and start looking East. We get it. You love anime and you want everything to be like anime. I know what I bring to the table, so trust me when I say I'm not afraid to eat alone. Because I bring my wife and kids to the table. That's right, I always have company. Hey. Oh yeah, I have nobody to talk to. <laughs> Life's three best teachers. Heartbreaks, empty pockets, and failures. I should have been the only one. Let me just take a bite out of this entire message. <laughs> Oh, look, it's changed. I should have been enough for you. But I wasn't. You know, it is interesting how we never think to perceive this as, oh, they don't find me valuable. That's kind of rude of them. I don't think I want to chase after someone who doesn't value me anymore. No, instead we're like, ah, you don't value me. Please, let me prove you wrong. Please, oh. Six plus three equals nine, but so does five plus four. Uh, yeah, because that's maths. That's how you add things together. See, the way you do things isn't always the only way to do them. Respect other people's way of thinking. Look, the message is right, but the example is so dumb. Because <laughs> maths isn't subjective. Like, that number and that number will always equal that number. What are your thoughts on this? The day you raise your hand to a woman, that's the day you're officially no longer a man. And there you have it, lads, the secret to eternal youth. If you want to be a boy once more, go up to a woman, pretend they're your teacher, and lift your arm up to ask a question. I destroyed, destroyed my property, so I I could see a cute little birdie. I'm so glad I busted this giant gap in my wall so I could experience nature and all its beauty. What do you mean mosquitoes, flies, moths, cockroaches, possums, raccoons? Ra when you're happy, you listen to the music. But when you're sad, you understand the lyrics. For me, that's Galactic Mermaid. As kids, we love the heroes. As adults, we understand the villains. Totally true. Yes, I'm 10 years old and this radiates to my life. Don't wait for success to find you. Go take it. Yeah, that's what this snail did. This croc was immortal, but this snail was constantly chasing after it to kill it. And the crocodile couldn't move anymore. It was paralyzed with fear. Now the snail got to it and they succeeded in killing it. How I feel at parties. <laughs> <laughs> you just know this is some dorky loser who spends their time just learning AI generation than actually socializing with like, ah, oh, they just don't understand me. This is all them. AI generate a sheep and a man with a wolf's head wearing a cool furry jacket. Watch who you trust. Even your teeth bite your tongue every now and then. Yeah, and I feel like a moron for that, okay? You don't need to remind me that I can't even control my own tongue. Life. I don't get it. Especially with the, uh, the billionaire guy right there who can't even see out the window. I'm, con I'm confused, man. Falling in love hits different when you know they're a paid actor sent by the CIA to distract you from dedicating your life to dismantling the government. I had to ask Lena about this. You know, the Finnish girlfriend. She has a name. It's Lena. I had to ask her about this once. She got, uh, oddly silent on the matter. I know damn well the Finns are working with the CIA to take me down, man. They know I'm too valid a weapon. <sighs> Oh well. Okay, uh, today's society. Wrong. I like how they say that that's today's society, as if parents from the moment cameras became affordable weren't constantly taking pictures of their family, mainly their children. Yeah, okay, it's only phones though. It's just phones. When I die, I want my heart donated to NASA so they can finally see what a black hole looks like up close. The person who replied with this image is the real G of today's video. My 15-year-old sister posted this on her Facebook. She's never been in a relationship. <laughs> oh boy. Mmm, heartbroken since 2018. It's never heals. Thank you gave me mental damage. Who did? The poster on your wall? Being late doesn't mean failure. Maybe it means getting ready for a great launch. You're not allowed to do that, though. This is cheating. That is explicitly against the rules. I'm dying. My life flashes before my eyes. Nice. <laughs> this doesn't belong here. This is great. Look at this. It's so true. There's nothing wrong with this at all. Based, bro. <laughs> Media. I think I can kind of see what's being said here, but it's also really stupid. I don't know. This is way too dumb, too vague. I'm a peaceful man. I never bark. 
But if the time comes, I will not half bite. Do you understand? I understand that you a furry. Probably a closeted one at that. There's nothing wrong with being a furry, dude. Live your life. Do what you want. But quit pretending you're an anime protagonist on the internet. It's not gonna work. No. My friends at 15. My friends now. So a lot of your friends drifted away from you because you guys grew up and developed separate lives because you all had separate interests and are different people? You could still keep in touch with friends, man. It's literally not hard. Found this one on Insta. Okay, we have a cow doctor taking away this woman's newborn? Who also happens to look like he's 50. What is this saying? What is this saying? A man cheated on his wife, and the wife cheated back for revenge. Unfortunately, she got pregnant for another man. Who broke the family? Matured mind only, please. It sounds like a couple of people that have serious problems. That's really all you can say here, man. Oh god, no. Please not anime stuff. All art is political. Mofo's trying to explain the politics of this. Absolutely no political dimension to a picture of a Japanese character treating the product of an American multinational fast food corporation as manna from heaven. No, sir. Don't even think about opening a history book. But seriously, that artwork is a reflection of U.S. global cultural... What is that word? It's not that hard to see this stuff if you know how to look at the world. Hi, artist here. It's about cute girl eating burger. Uh, this motherfucker gives off the... Teacher's pet in English class vibes so hard, it's not even funny. It's literally just, as the artist said, cute girl eat burger. And this motherfucker really sat here and said it was a reflection of U.S. global cultural hedge, hedge, hedge money. I don't know what that word is at all. <laughs> it's so dumb. What a loser. Posted unironically on the family group chat. Okay. Reality of our world. Oh no, we got cooler things than you did, so you're gonna be a little bitch about it. Mom, act your fucking age. Earth with you. Earth without you. Oh, I see. Literally nothing matters and we should just die, right? Yourself. Be reasonable, Frank. If he wanted us dead, why would he feed us so much? Hey, believe what you want to believe. I'm out of here. Okay. Don't panic. Organize. I've seen this used, or I think I've seen this used for pro-union stuff. That's correct. Big Fish is coming at you, and he's trying to take over your shit. Uh-uh. They scared of us, bro. I don't think this fully belongs in I'm 14 and this is deep, because this is true. Organize. It's our right. Stick it to the billionaire bullshit. It's not just a phase, mom. Error. You should charge your battery, dude. Things that people pretend to like. Sushi, dark chocolate, museums, me. No one's pretending to like you. We're very adamantly not liking you in general. Also, I don't like dark chocolate, and I know most people love dark chocolate, so get out and miss me with that shit, okay? Also, I fucking love sushi. The problem is, we are not eating food anymore. We're eating food-like products. Yeah? There are eight plus billion of us now, right? What are we supposed to do? This fallen tree refused to die. Instead, grew four more trees out of itself. This is what happens when you don't quit. Dude, if I fall down dead and start growing other people from my body, you need to burn me. Immediately. Nobody sees him. Nobody hears him. Nobody loves him. Nobody cares for him. Nobody thought about him. Nobody asked about him. Nobody replied to him. Nobody answered him. Nobody told him it'll be okay. Nobody told him to calm down. Nobody imagined his pain. Nobody saw it coming. Nobody comforted him. Nobody stayed for him. Nobody expected his mayhem. Nobody imagined his massacre. Nobody imagined his rage. Dude, you go to a slam poetry thing? They'll love you there. But dude, on Reddit, the cringe police are gonna rip you limb from limb. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You are not the anime protagonist. I feel like we should start a game show here on MK. Are you the anime protagonist? I don't know how we would do that. We'll have to get college humor involved there. I send these letters to remind you. Enjoy the rain while it lasts. Enjoy the storms. The chaotic seas. It is temporary. It is an opportunity. Calm seas never made a skillful sailor. Smile through the struggle. Use it to become great. Dude, shut the f*** up. Shut up. You in prison. How the f*** doing this? Ignorant men raise questions that wise men answered a thousand years ago. What? what? It's funny that wise men answer these questions a thousand years ago, yet no one seems to know the f answer in general to so many things. Oh my god, her boobs fell off. I don't, I don't know the rest of it. I, uh, I, I'm sorry. This is all stupid. The reality of the world in 2023. Okay. What is, what is that? The top left one is perplexing the hell out of me. Is it supposed to be some sort of anti-trans rhetoric or some bullshit? 
what is this f***ing garbage? And I'm so sorry for the curse words to our beloved editors, I apologize, but I don't play that shit. Our society these days, nice guy, sweet girl, jerk, bitch, rich. Let's talk about that iFunny watermark. And hey, come on, you call yourself the nice guy, I feel like we'll find some receipts of you being a psycho when someone turns you down. Some people will hate you, not because you're right, but because you're different. I'm sorry, you water. And the rest of these people are so dehydrated, it's not even funny. Oh god, no, no, no! Every time you run, every time you hide, every time it hurts, every time you cry, every time you run away, Every time you hide your face, and it feels so far away, I'm right here with you. That's really great. Fantastic. What's this movie called? Edgy Furries Rise 2023. Sad but reality. What does that mean? <laughs> really, what is... Huh? Explain right now. Right now. I woke up, I went to school, I saw my crush, I hugged her, I kissed her. Guess the right order. We got two, three, four... Five, one. Oh, I see. Right. I was gonna say, you're not allowed to just go up and hug and then kiss somebody just because they're your crush. That's not how this works. So I'm glad it was your dream. Rule number one, hide your sadness. No one cares. I've never met Keanu at all, and I probably never will. But this I do know about him. I don't think he'd appreciate being used in the fashion that he is being used, where he's like this pseudo poster child for this dip sigma movement, okay? Hide your sadness, no one cares. Shut up. You can't use one of the coolest guys ever, one of the most polite and nice men in the public eye as your poster boy for we think you're weak pieces of shit. Uh-uh. Miss me with that garbage, guys. It feels like yesterday I watched Toy Story 4 at the cinema, and now you're telling me it was made four years ago? I feel so old even though I'm 14. For real, I remember watching it in the cinema. I'm 10 and I'm feeling the same. Same, I'm 14 and remember watching Toy Story 4 when it came out, and I feel old, too. Ha, <laughs> you really want to feel old? Look up the year Toy Story 3 came out. God, I barely remember that far back. And I'm 75 years old. Ugh. She said, I'm in love with you. Gandhi said, I don't deserve your love, but my brother behind you who is younger and more handsome does. She looked back and saw no one. Gandhi said, if you were in love with me, you wouldn't have looked back. Yeah, totally. I totally imagine... Gandhi saying and doing something like this. Totally. I don't want to scare you, but you know that the world where you grown up doesn't exist anymore? You're so much cooler than everyone for this. You're so cool. <sniffs> Muscle dumb. That is true. If you work on your body, you're a stupid piece of shit. You shouldn't have a good body, a healthy body. You should only have big brain. She's broken because she believed. Sir bro and s b v When short black hair equals bad. It does. It does. Short black hair is a reflection of the Industrial Revolution. Don't you know? I was silent, but was not blind. You know what? I'll be honest with you. This is not the worst one. It's super edgy and dumb, I get it, but this one at least has a little bit more of that modern creativity in it, I'd say. I don't know, it's kind of cute, kind of creepy looking though, <laughs> which I guess is the point. Real. This picture is so deep if you understand. That picture makes no damn sense! If nobody hates you, you're doing something boring. He never said that. Quit using people that you- You know what? Dude. Why are you like this? Shut up. Straight up. Be humble. You won't stay fresh forever. If you carried Medusa's curse, I would still stare at your eyes so my stone body could gaze at perfection for eternity. Here's a city. When the man is a good father and a good man, gestation is of both. Okay. Most accurate image of this decade? Andrew Tate, The Matrix, The Media. Um, one of the least accurate images I think I've ever seen from any decade. What the hell? I just want to check if I still got food stuck in my teeth. You look fine. Yeah, I hate places that removed the mirrors. Dude, come on. That's just disgusting. Men are like Bluetooth. He's connected to you when you're nearby, but searches for other devices when you're away. Women are like Wi-Fi. She sees all available devices, but connects to the strongest one. Bluetooth can only connect to one device at a time and would need confirmation from both devices to connect successfully. Wi-Fi connects to multiple devices and can be set without a password. You're all dumb. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this addiction. This guy's addicted to WhatsApp? Emojis. Email. More emojis. <gasps> They're addicted to Telegram. Some guys make girls c 
That's cool. I make them think. I really hope that this was a hilarious joke tweet, my guy. You couldn't waterboard that type of information out of me. People say the world ending was fake in 2012, but has anyone felt alive since then? Shut up. I love you. I love you. You're a bitch. I love you. I love you. I love you. Bitch. Theory confirmed. No matter how many times you say I love you to woman, she will always see the bad things. Why did you capitalize the first letter of every goddamn word, you little freak? Also, yeah, if you spam me with I love you and in the middle of that, you're a bitch is there, I'm gonna be like, hey dude, what the hell was that? No, I'm not gonna let that slide. You called me a bitch. Who even makes these? Uh, I don't know. They're insane though. Too deep for my understanding. The thinker. The doer. So now it's bad to think. Now it is bad to think. No, we shouldn't be thinking. We should just be doing. Leap before you think. That's what Isun from Okami always said. What the hell does this mean? Violence? Yeah, I genuinely can't fathom what the hell is going on here. But that's kind of the case here with most of these, isn't it? How did he get on top of those books, though? Uh... Oh, I know how. You know how in Minecraft you can stack blocks underneath yourself? He just did it the same way with these books. Born too late to explore the world. Born too early to explore the galaxy. Born just in time to watch society collapse. So are we going to be able to explore the galaxy? Uh, I don't understand. Want to succeed at trading? Unplug yourself from the Matrix. Whoever posted this on Facebook probably went bankrupt because he was stupid. Life is a sexually transmitted disease and the mortality rate is 100%. I guess? Uh, apparently, when you treat people the same way they treat you, they get offended. Well, let's unpack that for half of a second here. I really doubt that everyone is treating you like you're a piece of garbage, okay? I really doubt that. I seriously, no, put the timer away, put it away, put it away, stop that, thank you. I really doubt that everyone treats you like crap. I feel like one dude pissed you off one day and now you think society is out to get you. That's right, society, you know, the thing we live in. No one's out to get you, you're totally fine, and I feel like you're trying to justify being an asshole towards other people. Also, I think you're trying to downplay getting offended. A lot of people try to downplay that. You're doing sh on purpose. You know what it is you're doing. Stop it. Look at the man in the mirror. And maybe you two could change, right? I don't know. I'm not built for, uh, what's the word? Emotional speeches that make sense. I'm just so tired of people that do this, okay? We're treating people like sh and then going, oh, you got offended. You can't make jokes anymore as an excuse. I know who you are. Damn, this is deep. I don't know what to do. Follow your heart. Everyone says follow your heart, but if my heart's in a trillion pieces, which piece do I follow? My man's really brought that phone out in a rainstorm, or better yet, got some water on his hands, flicked it on his phone screen to make it seem like he was crying. And you know what? It worked. Do you know how much better this image is because of that? Some people just act like they're trying to help you. I don't get it. I mean, the guy up top is clearly insane. Dude, the rope's right there. It's right there, dude. All you have to do is toss it down. My guy, please, I'm begging you. I'm absolutely begging you to give the man the rope. I really don't, uh, like, all stupidity aside, though, I really don't understand the idea of some people just act like they're trying to help you. Some people may not be able to help you, and they shouldn't necessarily give you false hope, but you don't know whether or not they're trying. Everyone's trying. I try to help people all the time within the limits of my ability, okay? <laughs> I'm not the person that should be assisting everybody with every problem, of course not. But I am attempting to help you by saying, hey man, maybe you should get help from someone that is actually ready to help. That in and of itself is helping, is it not? Or am I crazy? I am crazy, aren't I? Oh my god. Did he did he really post this? Did he really post this? You never really know anymore. He's so absurd, you genuinely don't know anymore. They look so cute and cuddly, but the slightest thing can turn this beautiful creature into something so dangerous and violent that the toughest of men could be killed or maimed for life. Here you can see it cuddling a bear. Nah, yeah, I'd bet my life savings that this dork bag absolutely posted this sh. <laughs> Oh, man. Women bad. Of course Elon would think that. The women in his life have been pretty smart in terms of leaving, <laughs> okay? God, uh, I just... D dude, come on! Wake up. Why do they always use Monopoly boards here? 
Monopoly has always been straight up a way to show you that capitalism is going to fail at some point. What, what, what is this? What is this? Why do they got a Monopoly board? Is it the Illuminati? It's funny how artistic we become when our hearts are broken. I've had my heart broken many times and it's just ruined my f well, not life. It's ruined several years of my life before. I've never become artistic. I'm, I'm absolutely not an artist. I'm washed up and done. Then what does art school do? School kills artists. Look, I remember I wanted to go to film school, and all the people I know who went to film school told me that it would ruin my life and be a huge waste of my time. And I understand that there is some merit to that, you know, because schools and whatnot have to create rules. But I will literally never get to be a part of an industry that I wanted to. Mainly because I don't want to be physically and verbally abused until, you know, the joy is beaten out of me, as is most industries that seem cool. But, I don't know, it also sucks that without a little piece of paper, you can't be an artist anymore, you know? Why do you think so many people want to get famous on YouTube? It's because it's one of the few places that you can truly be a self-made successful person without a bunch of people that treated you like actual waste along the way. Funeral of Trees, a picture with a very serious message. Very serious message, yet you got this dip little thing at the bottom of the image, trying to explain it in the dumbest way possible. This image ain't subtle. You don't need to explain it. A cat could understand this. Social media seriously harms your mental health. That is true. I mean, obviously it's up to the individual to make specific choices and set limits for themselves. Can't blame Twitter and Facebook for that. However, the mathematical equations that are built to keep you addicted to these sites are bad for you. It's true. It is true. To a certain extent, though. <laughs> uh, I mean, look at me, I'm freaking crazy. Finally, the fourth ape. He is the sum of the first three. He sees nobody, hears nobody, and speaks to nobody. Phone bad. Look at a picture of a bunch of people in public from the 40s on the train. Show me one that's not reading a f***ing newspaper. Stalking is a love language. No, it's a goddamn crime. Quit romanticizing crimes of various natures. Can't stop it. Literally f***ing stop. It's gross. Think while it's still legal. I bet the person that made this image is a real big fan of Elon Musk wanting to put f***ing microchips in people's brains. We live in a society. What the f*** does this mean? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Literally no clue what the hell they're talking about here. You changed a lot. A lot changed me. <gasps> Hashtag D. Whoa. The devil shivers when a nice guy loses his temper. Oh god, why the Five Nights at Freddy's thing? Okay, hold on. If you fail to provide someone a path to redemption, they're going to walk one of the other paths available to them. If you insist, then you'd best destroy them utterly and completely. Obliterate them. Otherwise, you've made a terrible, terrible enemy with nothing to lose. Freddy. <laughs> what a dork. The light inside is broken, but I still work. Me too, vending machine. Me too. Aww. <laughs> It's like the sad version of the lights are on, but nobody's home thing. They're home, they just lost power. Oh no, what's Neil deGrasse Tyson doing in here? In a mirror, you can kiss yourself only on the lips. <laughs> he tweeted this like 11 times. He re he thought this was a banger. He thought he was cooking here. He really liked it. What's the what's the deeper meaning of this? That like, uh, in, to reflect, I, I, I don't know what, what does this mean, Neil? Teach me, man. If you can't find a way, create one. And as you can see in the picture, you gotta do it shirtless, but with overall straps to keep your pants up. No belts here. I kind of find this one like kind of sweet and endearing though. I like it. It's a nice message. It's just done in a very cringy way. You know what I mean? Like, it's a sweet thought. Green hair equals more likes. It's actually the big photo of poop in the background. It's the poop that's getting all the likes. Cause it's, uh, you, you know, we, <laughs> funny fart humor. Pain is a joke and I am the clown. So are you telling, does that mean you're gonna give me pain? What, Cause clowns are funny and they would like tell a joke. Are you saying, this feels like a threat. What does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me like that. Stop being front facing. Clowns don't really tell jokes. Oh, well, I mean, but they're funny. Maybe a little funny looking as well. I don't know. I, they're just nice, <laughs> silly guys. Unless you're scared of them. Moral of the story, find you a lady with some cake and a large pair of scissors. Cause that's all you need <laughs> to, to do. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here or what this is supposed to mean. This is beyond my understanding. 
He's holding the world. He's giving her a heart, his heart, maybe. Uh, she's giving, uh, receiving money and has a heart behind her back. What's what's the message here? What, what's going on here? What, what's this a metaphor for? <laughs> Looks like you just took a lot of like concepts and were like, yeah, this will make him feel. There are hundreds of paths up the mountain all leading to the top. And the only ones wasting time are those who run in circles around the mountain, telling others that their path is wrong. Oh, well, again, I, I like this message. This isn't a message that I disagree with. I think this is nice and sweet. Um, but what if the path was leading to instant doom and danger? Then, then are they wasting time? Didn't think about that, did you, Hindu proverbs? Didn't, didn't think that far ahead, huh? What? <laughs> it's hard to trust people who trust people that disrespect you. Read it twice. It twice. Okay. I, I don't, I, again, I, I agree. That's basically saying like, you know, people who your friends are reveals, I, I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to say. And with I'm 14 and this is deep, it's hard to get a read on some of the messages. They feel very like milk toast and basic, like, like things you'd read in a kid's book. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, uh, these are the rules of life. And if you're a child, you're like, oh, I feel that right in my soul. But I'm also like, I'm, I feel like I'm reading too far into it to where I'm confusing myself. You know what I mean? You could tell that that was posted right on Facebook because of the background, the <laughs> the Qbert background. This was a Facebook post, 100%. I finally realized it. People are prisoners of their phones. That's why they're called cell phones. Oh, dude. And are like, are the atoms in my body prisoners too? Or is that just tiny jails? Cause they're called cells. Whoa, dude. So was the mitochondria? the penitentiary of my cell bro <laughs> hi my name's blank i think many people know me the goal is to find out who ignores my stories and who pays attention we're so focused on social media that we forget that the main thing in life is communication if you read till the end text me hello then i'll send you a text with your name and you'll post it to your story no i won't Please don't send me anything if you don't have time to post it. It'll ruin the experiment. I wonder who will find the time. You ain't got one message. I, I, ooh, I hate things like that. I hate that. I hate chain mail where it's like, if you don't repost this to 10 of your friends, you will get bad luck. Little Bobby Billy boy was sitting on an ice cream parlor and then he died. One man read this and thought it was a fib. Then he was killed. <laughs> Do you want to be killed to death? Repost this to live. I hate text like chain posts like this, man. The rich versus the poor oh uh, well you know <laughs> i understand what they're saying um it, it's hard because i did was there not a search mission for the the uh, god i'm gonna sound like a, a jerk because I, I don't remember the the story it was a fishing boat that's right it was a fishing boat that capsized so i i get what they're saying that is a sad like distinction. And I, I think it's, I feel like it's almost less about them being rich and almost that it was like the more captivating news story, which still isn't cool, but I totally get like what they're going for here. Oh my God, this is so true. Don't burn your opportunities for a temporary comfort. Well, I mean, it looks like he's staying plenty warm. I, I don't think this is, <laughs> If he's in the dark and the cold, I don't think he made a bad decision at all. What if, what, if, what if there's something dangerous up that ladder? He doesn't know. Elon Musk also posted this on X. What did he post? Grad going to college, graduating from college, all the information you learned in college. Oh, and they're still waiting to board. Oh no. I don't know what this means, Elon. Explain it. Explain it to me, Elon. Is this, uh, uh how are you going to promote Dogecoin in this meme? Tell me. What's a movie that you can intellectually appreciate is pretty good, yet you don't enjoy it? Um, Garfield 2, Tale of Two Kitties. There will be blood. Just felt terrible after that movie, but it made you feel something. And isn't that the point of art? <laughs> to make you feel? I don't know. I think it's up to the artist for what their intent was with it. The banana tape to a wall didn't make me feel much of anything, but was that the point? I don't know. One plus one plus one equals one. One plus one equals three. And they're all <laughs> ganging up on two. They're all scared. 
I've never seen a war break out over people getting answers wrong on math. <laughs> and they're ganging up on the right answer. What does this mean? That we hate the number two? I'll, I'll, I'll co-sign that. Let's beat up two. And then the rats go and eat the poison thinking it's food. <laughs> Stupid rats. Oh, but they're eating poison disguised as a McDonald's sandwich and fry. They watched Super Size Me once and then drew this comic. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a little hamburger and fry. Just a little treat. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, people treat me like a god. Uh, how? They ignore my existence and only talk to me when they need something. And they show up at my house every Sunday. Why? <laughs> every Sunday asking for my body and my blood. I don't get it. Stop it. Super rear. Love old people, but make sure you choose good one. Don't choose old animals. It's rare to meet old animals, but old animals, peoples exist. That's so true. That's, <laughs> say it louder for the people in the back, but I don't think they'll understand you either. You cannot see your reflection in boiling water. Well, also, I can't see my reflection in still water either. It's very difficult. What does that mean? <laughs> what, what does this reflection comment mean? Why would I be looking in boiling water for my reflection anyway? And that's reserved for pasta and potatoes that I want to turn into mashed potatoes. I'm not trying to reflect in the rolling boil. If you're ever feeling sad, just remember that these people would have wanted you to be happy. I mean, yeah, that's fair. That doesn't help much though. <laughs> it's like Desmond from Smiling Friends like, oh, okay. <laughs> Is this supposed to make me not want to, you know, you, you can finish the line. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. It's a sweet gesture, but if I'm sad presently, it doesn't help me much. Found this Sigma on a short about Andrew Tate. Step one, get a GF. Step two, get more so you can have a favorite. Step three, be rich. So do I have to be rich before steps one and two, or do I be rich after I get a bunch of GF so I can have a favorite? Oh, sorry, a favorite-it, a favorite-tite. So I could have a favorite-tite of, of GF. Do I need to get more before I'm rich? Or is this like, why does, <laughs> the way you phrased be rich makes it sound like I had to be rich before all of this happened. I love Sigma grind set accounts. They're the funniest thing because they're like, women only distract me, followed by, you gotta find yourself a good woman. You can't have both, you're trying. <laughs> So silly. It's so silly. Me waiting for morning, but then remembered my life is always dark. So you never see the sun? Oh, dude, that's crazy. Hope you get the sun back in your life, dude. I can't imagine how cold it is all the time with the sun missing. F-E-A-R has two meanings. Fear could either mean forget everything and run or face everything and rise. Well, the choice is yours. Um, or we could go with like the literal textbook definition of fear. I'd say that's an additional meaning. I don't know why we're, I don't know why we're ruling that out of the, out of the equation here. False expectations appearing real. Oh, there we go, Super Koopa. You've added a fourth to the list. Just when I thought we were down to three, bam! Super Koopa 714, making sure we know what's up. A collage I started when I was 14 with the sad crying, sobbing a puddle of tears emoji. Microdosing helps people change their lives. Don't overthink it. <laughs> what are you, were you into, what? What? Take, <laughs> you were a full psychedelic fiend. Access inner wisdom. There, there should be just a full like chemical compound build of ayahuasca on this collage. May as well be with everything that's here. Are you empty in significant ways? Uh, yeah, I haven't eaten food yet. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Seeking the experience of joy again? Try easing into toxic materials. Let's go. Toxic materials. Yay. Chemicals. Caustic chemicals. <laughs> State your age and something you can't do. I'm 44 and can't swim. I'm 15. I can't whistle, climb a rope, or be happy. Oh, dude. I can help you with like two of those things. Honestly, one, I can't climb a rope either. I could whistle though. It's easy, dude. <laughs> 
Damn, must suck that you can't whistle. Good luck with those other two things though, man. Figure those out on your own. I can't, uh, if you do those two first, first two things, will you be happy? Only time will tell. Roses are dead, love is fake. Weddings are basically funeral with cake. And that's a real quote from Rick Sanchez. That was, uh, I was in the show. <laughs> it's a deep cut. It was said in binary code so only true intellectuals can understand. What's up with the face scar on Rick? Why is he, why was he in battle in this photo? Yes, but are, are you, uh, are you suggesting that, well, that's a power bank. Oh, like a power bank's charging the phone, but the power bank's low on it. Oh, what is, this is just a life situation. I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Oh, 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 I get it. Hold on, I'm silly. Like, yes, but, and then the butt is like, oh, it takes the power out of the bank. It's supposed to be like a statement. God has filled you with deep sadness as a warning. Depression is a sign that you're not going in the right direction. Excuse me? <laughs> you are not taking the right actions. God has given you a mental illness. It is the Lord's will that made you this way because you do not believe in the path and light and repentance. All right. So you tell me I'll be, you know, as happy as Ned Flanders if I accept God in my life? Is that what you're telling me? Do I get the hot chocolate too that he makes or is that not part of the package? Being anything other than happy all the time means you're a terrible person. And by that logic, Jesus was a sinner as he was not happy on the cross. Yeah, I can imagine he was probably, you know, less than thrilled to be nailed to a giant T. Uh... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of places he would probably, he would rather end up than nailed to a cross. He did move that boulder though. So he has some strength, which is crazy because he was like hella emaciated. Yelling at a baby, yelling at your child when they grow up. The child yelling at you when you're old. But you're not even processing it, are you? Look at that face. You're gone. Flashbacks to the war. I took nine months to form your heart. Do not let anyone break it in 15 seconds. Well, that's easy, Ma. It's in my chest. No one can get to it. It's not gonna happen anytime soon. I love taking these posts, like, so directly, literally. <laughs> Like, I understand logically it's all a metaphor, but when you're posting like very like vanilla deep things, I like to respond quite literally. The positive view, the negative view. Everything depends on the way you see. Well, the lion cub wants to be a dentist and the mama lion's helping her out, making sure she can see inside looking for cavities. I don't see anything wrong, they all have hands. That's the best way they can do it. Lion wants to be a dentist. Oh, senseless care of mortals. I see Facebook, I see Instagram. Are they saying that, uh, what, what does this mean? What are, are they saying that what people care about is like meaningless? Or are they saying they're caring about the wrong things? I don't understand what's going on in this. Oh, yo, if you look closely, remember that photo, the, 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 the poop and the green hair? It's in there, dude, the, it's in there. We got a deep cut. We got a reference in the same video. Love your family. They're all different, but they're all yours. That is a foot. This is a foot we're looking, that is not a family. They're all different, No, oh they're all toes. They are the same. The fact that none of the facial features lined up. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I've seen the, the happy, sad tattoo done very well. They could have made that look awesome, but it just did not match up at all. That's unfortunate. The eyes are mismatched. The heads, the, the even the head outlines messed up. You could have made this really nice looking, but you lost it. <laughs> What simple-minded creatures. But they're getting zapped by the light. They're not getting zapped. They're, look, we got one guy pog champing. He's watching a Twitch stream. The other two are, uh, they're doing, I don't know what they're doing, but they're engrossed in that, in that phone, probably playing a video game or something. A little bit of Candy Crush, a little bit of Fruit Ninja. Ooh, you never know. <laughs> Help! Yeah, we're helping. Helping ourselves this is gonna go viral. World star, dude. Windows directory separator around the world. Koreans and Japanese always trying to stay different from the rest of the world. Soon, neither would exist without the next generation. What a beautifully sad legacy. What does that mean? You got two downvotes for this. I don't I don't know what that even means. First of all, what's the Windows directory separator? I don't know what that is. Secondly, what does this mean? What does this mean, user? What do you mean by that? Found while playing Starfield. My life, chunk by chunk. I was very young, only seven years old, when I realized humans are animals. 
Smart animals, sure, but still animals. You give us food, we'll eat it. We wanted to taste good and we wanted to stop our hunger. Those two things, that's what's most important. After that, sure, some people want their food to be really healthy, as the experts say, and some want it to be pretty, but most people, they just want to cram something into their face. And that's when the concept of chunks was born. So begins the 120-page autobiography of Fred Blumbert, founder of the Chunks Food franchise. That's not deep at all. That I actually was, I liked that. I know Starfield's like a big stinker, but I appreciated that little bit of world building for this guy. That was cool. It's scary what a smile can hide. <laughs> What's it hiding? I don't understand. Who is this? What are we looking at? There's so much to learn. There's so much to learn. Well, uh, it... <laughs> This is one of my favorite memes that get put in the like, I'm 14, this is deep category. Um, Cause I, I don't, I like to think that they're, he's not even looking out a window, this other guy. This guy is looking at a blank wall and then one guy's looking at a mountain. And if he is looking out a window, what world are they living in? Sorry, um, censor that out with like a, pro I watched the last video where you censored it. Uh, put another metal pipe there. That's really cute. <laughs> Put, put another metal pipe there, please. Who, whoever's editing this, thank you. I really appreciate it. You make me smile. But where would they be living where there, there's such a, a stark contrast in environments just on either side of the window? That's a horrifying world to live in. The most expensive liquid in the world is tears. It's 1% water and 99% feelings. Are, are you sure about that? I think it's all water. Maybe a little bit of salt? I, I don't know if this is real. Did you, did you put it in that plankton extractor where you like tried to extract the formula by putting the Krabby Patty in the machine? How'd you figure this out? Son and father. Well, why doesn't he have a shoe? That's his fault. <laughs> What are they, his shorts are all ripped. What happened to him? Why, why is he on hard times? Why isn't the sun helping out? This is, this seems very strange. Yes, favorite song, another yes, but, oh no. And they're crying, no. Take your headphones out. You're playing your favorite songs. It's just rock and roll McDonald's on loop, on loop. Why does it look like dude's about to jump off a cliff though? Oh, I mean, you know, he's considering it because it is okay not to be in the spotlight, but that, you know, that doesn't mean you can't have a little fun. A little fun by jumping off the cliff and flying. He could fly. Sometimes there's nothing left to say and no energy left to give, so don't. Absence has a way of showing people exactly where you stand, and it's away from them. That, that's where you stand, silently, absently. You begin to understand that life is a circle of emotions and states of mind. When you suffer, you're a prisoner of this cycle, so enjoy instead. Dude, that's so true. Appreciate you saying that, man. I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed, dude. Thank you. When the lyrics match with your life story, it touches. That's how I felt about Gangnam Style. Oh, 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 dude. It's right, <laughs> it's right in the heart. I don't know what Gangnam Style is about. It's just a silly song. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand. Ugh, dude, baby shark. When they did that doot 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 part, oh, right in my heart and soul, dude. When the duck said, got any grapes? I had them. He could have asked me. God. In my dream, you're mine. But in my life, you are a dream. Well, do you know what they say? Life can be dream. So, I, you know, take it on the chin. Don't even worry about it. Don't leave your coffee for too long and then be surprised why it's cold. I'm not talking about coffee. But you, but you said coffee. What are you talking about then? Food? Food can happen. I can leave my food out for too long and it'll get cold. What are you talking about? I want to be like a sunflower so that even on the darkest days, I'll stand tall and find the sunlight unknown. I'm sure that's been said a million times. I feel like when quotes are attributed to unknown, it's because it's just such a ubiquitous thing that everyone has said at one point in time. Uh, that's my personal theory. Yes, but, oh, come on. She took one photo. It's not gonna be cold right away. Come on. And she got a like, so she got, she got her internet points for it. It's fine. Younger me thinking I had to be better than everyone. Well, that's not true. So don't believe, don't, don't believe a word of that. You just gotta be yourself. It's all good. Wiser me knowing I have to be better than I used to be? Exactly, just improve upon yourself for yourself, not for anyone else or to be anyone else. That's, I like that one, that's a nice one. You'll never be on this man's tevit. What, what's a, what's a tevit? <laughs> You're not even my tevit to fight. Why would you wanna fight him? I don't understand. Why, why would there be a fight? He doesn't, he doesn't even look aggressive, he's just saying hello. Why is fighting a big thing for you, man? 
The fact that I made this a couple years ago and thought it was deep. I don't know what this means. I don't know why this would be deep. I, I can see that you did this in Gary's mod or SFM, fi the film, the uh, source FM. Uh, why is this deep? What is it supposed to mean? Are you alone at the edge of the universe with your, with your anime, babe? I don't know what's going on. People cry not because they're weak. It's because they've been strong for too long. Oh, thank you, Johnny. I... <laughs> Thanks, man. I, I, I hope I, I don't know what to think about this. This is another milk toast quote. This is like the most baseline thing he could have said that was in. <laughs> oh, man. Every book you've ever read is just a different combination of 26 letters. No, oh, what about the punctuation and, and numbers, dude? There's more than 26. You're a fool. You're a fool for not including the punctuation and numbers. Every book you've ever read is just a combination of words. How about you think about that, buddy? Does it hurt your brain? Guess you're just not deep like I am. Yeah, I'm a different kind of guy. When you think, you are thinking. No way. And so a thought is born? You telling me I'm a dad, dude? No, dude. I gotta get a brain vasectomy. <laughs> life is a waste of time. Time is a waste of life. So just get wasted all the time and have the time of your life. And that's right in Margaritaville, baby. Still searching for my long lost shaker of salt. You know what I'm talking about? Welcome to the hell. Have a look around. Hey, I see what you're trying to do. I see you're trying to start like a Bo Burnham thing. I see what you're trying. I recognize that line, that lyric. I see what you're trying to do here. It is fitting that uh, there's a Bo Burnham quote on r slash teenagers or like someone tried to start a Bo Burnham thing. I feel like Bo is, uh, that's like the main demographic that likes Bo Burnham. Ta that takes nothing away from him, by the way. Very talented man. It's just, that's who, <laughs> that's his audience. You know what I mean? You too could be an alien with a broken umbrella. If only you were true to yourself. Why earthlings never use telepathy? Because telepathy's not real, dude. Just because you and your big shiny heads can talk to each other in your mind, doesn't mean I wanna do that. And bonus thought, if telepathy was real, you know instantly the corporations would be using that to inject ads in your brain. 100%, we would be getting like, wanna Sprite Cranberry? As soon as it hits November, just instant telepathy. That, <laughs> that, that is why, that is why. You install the Neuralink chip, ads in your brain, ads. Went to the moon, took five photos. Went to the bathroom, took 105 photos. That's just because technology's gotten better. We could take more pictures. Don't even worry about it. Also always running late. Success is like a train. It has several compartments, hard work, focus, luck, etc. But leading all those is the engine of confidence. So keep it fit. I've never seen the focus part of the train. Where, where is that? Show me on the train where the focus compartment is. Have a heart that never hardens and a temper that never tries and a touch that never hurts. Uh, okay. I'm having trouble figuring out what this one means as well. Is this saying like, don't hit things and don't get mad? Fair enough. Thanks, Charles. Oh, look at all of them. Where? Lots of rats hustling and bustling, trying to get to nowhere, but they don't have any time. There's three minutes left before the train departs, and there's far too many creatures trying to board. We got another yes, but, and I also don't know what this one means. It's a couple having a good time and then office workers. <laughs> make it make sense. First, they make fun of you. Hey, your pants look weirdly edited. Then they copy. Oh, wait, no, never mind. They've actually just replaced their hands surgically with CDs. Wow, bro, and you don't? Wow, what a loser. You're such a loser. Look at you with your nicer pants, you loser. Is that grandpa? Let me check. Oh, it's so true what they say about society. It's so whatever this is. More digitally documented? I don't know. I guess I can feel bad for the craftsman who has to chisel these into the stone. Hey, multiply the direction to your house. Parents, go towards them. <laughs> but that was a big mistake, for the teacher was about to discover that genetics are a thing. Do you see the tattoos? That means they're misunderstood. Imagine what we can accomplish when we work together. Environmental destruction or a higher rate of crop depletion. Yay! Yay. This masterpiece is called The Impact of a Book. And just look at that impact. The wall's still completely standing, fine. No, nothing's really changed about the wall's ability to do its job. At most, the book's achieved a slight inconvenience to those with OCD. 
challenge. Yeah, you go, Bork. You get crushed under mountains of others for the sake of your cause. I'm with you. In spirit, I'm happy being here conforming to society. Bro, the lion may be the king of the jungle, but the wolf never performs in circus. You do you, I'm good being the human. You know, the one that runs the circus and also demolishes and takes over the jungle? Hmm, I'm cool with that animal. That's, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll stick to that animal, please. We also have nicer butts, so another win. Boat! Land! Ugh, oh, no one in this world is satisfied. These people are going to possibly die. Can we not judge them? Oh, what's that? You want some sense of rescue to your current situation? God, you're so self-centered. <laughs> oh boy, you're only 12. Enjoy, youth. I'm 14. <laughs> And let me tell you, you learn more things from 12 to 14 than you do 0 to 12. Okay, 0 to 6, you remember maybe 10% of anything that happened to you in life. So you can just go ahead and dismiss those years as a part of your argument. Also, this person isn't even entitled to work at a job yet. Oh, how life is going to hit them like a bullet train. In 2014, a Chinese girl put makeup on her wedding day to become like an old woman and surprised her future husband with the question, Will he love me when I am 70? He told her no, and he left. No surprise based on how promiscuous she's wearing those clothes on a wedding day. Ugh, that's not us blurring this. The, the photo is already blurred. You can basically see her entire clavicle. Also, how much you want to bet this man left her? Not because of the makeup, but because of the scenes she clearly makes. I'm sorry, no, if I keep up with this, you know, next year for our anniversary, you're gonna dress up like a worm, and I, I can't deal with that. 2009, 2019. Why can't kids be happy with simpler toys? Not because they're better, but because they're cheaper and I can't afford these things. Don't force your child to be like you. Maybe start with the idea of don't shove your kids' heads into electric sockets? Why are things never used telepathy? Because they have a lot to hide from each other. Hey, guys, you know, if you really think about it, it's really an unnecessary skill to have. Well, don't start this. No, really, okay, if I'm gonna speak my mind, I'll just speak it. We're not yeah, talking about mind reading here, we're talking about conversing through our minds. Unless I'm a secret agent, I don't need to do that. No, you're a real buzzkill. What I do need is someone to help me fix this radio! View the following image, completed within your mind. The first word that comes to your mind can tell you a lot about where you are in life. Gee golly gosh, I wonder what's the first word someone would think this is, purely based on the fact that there was a TV series with this exact level of font. The word everyone would immediately assume this is... List. I'm List in life. He loved a girl. He wanted a crown. Until he, he wanted a crown. Girl. Okay, but those sideburns though, mmm, let me ravish your Scotland Yard. 2009, 2019. In just 10 years, cameraman and pilot both lost their jobs. Upgrade yourself. Convert yourself into a digital computer today and become a drone. Beep boop beep, I can fly anywhere and have no feelings anymore. Psychologists hate this one trick. Sometimes people don't change, they just remove their mask. There? You wanna try that again? No, you wanna post it as is? Okay, alright. Guess it was inevitable for the Joker movie to be treated like this. What's the message here? The message is that that kid is smoking something. This is not motivating me at all, Joker. This is confusing me. 10%. You won't let this happen to your phone. Then why do you let this happen with your mind? Explain this to me. How is it- how do you get to 10% brain capacity? Because you're clearly trying to apply energy levels here, and if this was the case, it's like comparing, like, a mild inconvenience, which is charging your phone, to you possibly dying because of not getting sustenance. I only wish life was as simple as a phone charger, where I could just shove something up my butt to get me going. Ah, uh, I had to turn this into a butt joke, didn't I? Without mom, a salty, tasteless meal. With mom! Still not exactly healthy, but ooh, look, some slight carrot. Life is hard without her. Yeah, so many things in life are so easy to deal with, such as bills and affordability of life in general. But none of that can compare to the struggle! That is just simply YouTubing a tutorial on how to add carrots to your noodles. Shine bright like a diamond, Rihanna. Diamond don't shine, idiot. They reflect. Albert Einstein. Mmm, how intelligent. Criticizing metaphorical lyrics. What most people see. Advertisements desperately trying to keep up with trends of public interest in order to get their money and don't actually really have any control over what you say or do. They're just doing their whatever they desperately can to influence you to buy their product. 
what I see. Yes, it's not my fault I have all these habits that don't actually make me feel fulfilled in life. It's got to be their fault. They're the ones doing this to me. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. Call farm. <laughs> Stay asleep. Go to bed. Shh, night, night. Okay, well, I mean, that's great, actually, for people who suffer from insomnia. Work, work, reproduce. <laughs> when students cheat on exams. When students cheat on exams. Okay, we're just going to repeat the title. It's because our school system values grades more than students value learning. Also, Elon Musk is here. Hello, Elon. There, yep. <laughs> Gotta make this relate to you somehow, because what? I did actually used to be someone who was like, why do they even let you use open book for exams? Like the whole point is for you to prove you've actually learned something. But apparently it's been proven that this sort of education does not actually teach you to learn, it teaches you to memorize something for that moment. Hence why almost everything you've learned in high school you've forgotten by the time you graduate beyond five years. Maybe your basic maths and science, sure, you remember that stuff, but anything you might have learned just for that term or for that year of a class, that goes bye-bye from your brain once you're no longer doing something related to it, which kind of leaves you to wonder what the hell is the point aside from just the practice of studying. World with nerds, but without bullies. World with bullies, but without the yummy candy from Willy Wonka. Because as we all know, there's no such thing as a nerdy bully. There's no such thing as some sort of scientist or engineer who has a high ego about themselves that they harass their co-workers. But anyway, a world without bullies could exist like this, but unfortunately, we allow women to drive. So, you know, <laughs> can't be like Saudi Arabia, unfortunately. Oh, what a shame. Dad, what do these stupid games teach you? Me? Modern Warfare told me to never leave a man behind. Minecraft, be creative in stressful situation. Uh, PUBG, fight till the end. G God of War, life is an adventure. Re -de -re -de -re -de 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 take care of yourself. Among us, don't trust anyone. There's hell in hello. There's an end in friend. There's a lie in belive. There's an over in lover. And there's a good in goodbye. I am dead. There's fun in funeral. People today. A jump off the cliff. No way. Dang, okay, um. Hashtag jump off the cliff challenge. Okay, let's be real. This is very accurate. Smile, 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 smile. Smile. I wish more people understood this photo because I haven't found anyone who can. It's really frustrating me because I, I want to understand it. No, no one has answers. When you are unhappy with your life, remember this picture. So what if you're still struggling for a job and a place to live? This person has to wear big shoes. Don't you see how much of a struggle life is for them? To constantly live like a clown. The most dangerous iceberg for our planet. Whoa, hey guys, is it just me or does this look like a plastic bag? Ah, oh, I don't see it, man. That's clearly an iceberg. Clearly. The worst thing about betrayal is that it never comes from the enemy. Facts. Ooh, agreed. That's the point of betrayal. Oh my god, people. Today you ignore me because I'm potato. One day I'll be french fries and you'll crave for me. Well, technically what we're craving for is just the salt, not actually the potato, so hmm. Looky here, us wanting the thing that you don't actually possess. Sometimes sadness becomes the power of life. Go ahead, you, you go ahead and explain the science of this for me. Birthdays then. Look at all these presents. Birthdays now. Look at all these notifications. I should probably actually, you know, create an event to host a party for my birthday. I can't be bothered, I'll just do it next year. This is a very unpleasant feeling. I'm 14 now. God, I know that's the sub, but I keep forgetting this is 14 year olds half the time. I miss when cartoons were in their prime. I miss the hub network. Yeah, which one, buddy, huh? Hmm? I miss not having to worry about life. I miss having a reason to look forward in life. I miss being a kid. Yeah, I sometimes ponder about that as well, but then I remember I had to do maths homework when I was a kid. And now I actually get money when I put effort into things. So I'm good being an adult. There's no one to stop me from having pizza for breakfast But on the other hand, there's also no one to stop me from having pizza for breakfast People are prisoners of their own phones. That's why they are called cell phones Buddy allow me to introduce you to the word cellular. I will break my back for the people I care about the question is if John owned 300 lemons and gave 27 away, how many would he have- No, I mean, the question is, who will be there to push the wheelchair when it's broken? Hmm, how noble to admit to us all that your generosity is conditional. It's okay, ma'am, who is stuck in this fire in this building right now. We've come to save you. Oh, thank goodness. Will you push my wheelchair, though? W what? Will you do it, or is this just not worth my time? I, I don't know what the question-
Christmas. Let's go, boys. She's not worth it. No, please. If Elon Musk ever walks up to me and offers me $100 billion or a dictionary, I'll take the dictionary every time. That way I can look up the real definition of wealth. Yes, because that's what Elon Musk has stored in his bank accounts. Lots and lots of dictionaries. Reality is so much different than what you see on social media. The funny thing is, they kind of still look natural even with the head swapped. Like, I could believe Kevin Hart is actually a big, tall, buff man. A lion will never eat grass, no matter how hungry it is. Be like a lion. Never lower your standards because of hunger for relationships or friendships. Pretty sure being that stubborn is not aspirational. I may be on the brink of death, but at least I'm committing to it. 85% of guys run for girlfriends. Rest 15% become billionaires. Virgin. 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 Two plus two equals five. Two plus two equals three. Okay, I don't know math though, so. 1999 versus 2023. Uh, how is this supposed to be deep though? I'm a little confused. What exactly is being said here? Do the motorcycles mean something? I get, yeah, video game bad, get out, blah, 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 whatever. What, what are you trying to say? I'm a little stupid. Man has a child that's crying as his brain? Okay, uh, is this supposed supposed to simulate some kind of childhood trauma or the death of one's inner child. I know that kid's not dead, but I don't know. I try. I really do try. I was educated once. It took me years to get over it. Well, thank you, Mark Twain. I, I know that what Mark Twain said is cute and all, but then people go ahead and turn it into this. I, I don't know. Who made this? How old is the guy or gal that made this comic? And are they a parent? If so, they probably tried to tell their kids that if they didn't go to school, they'd end up as the garbage man or the janitor, which is blah, blah, blah. you know, come on, come on, don't do this. We only live once. Wrong. We only die once. We live every day. I don't live every day. I haven't lived in ye like probably seven years now. Uh huh. I see. Look, at least this one's somewhat creative. I'm not looking for something truly deep here. I just want anything that means anything, really. I could understand this one. Your life becomes a masterpiece when you learn to masterpiece. So why is Jackie Chan there? Because the credit is for some guy named Carlos Dominguez on Facebook, right? I would assume. So what is Jackie Chan's goddamn face doing in this image? Is he the one that said this? Why do I doubt that that's what happened? If you connect the dots, the chaos may disappear and something else may appear. Gotcha. That's cute and all, but life's not about connecting the dots. I love you. I love you too. But we are different. Wait for me, okay? Surprise! There's no perfect couple at the beginning. Yeah, I can see what you're trying to say here. You know, people that really match well over the course of long, long periods of time are going to shape and change one another for the better, if it's healthy, obviously. <laughs> uh, we go through all kinds of not healthy as we go on and eventually find someone that is good for us. Sure, I get it. I just don't really like the visual representation I'm getting here. Okay, I'm gonna go dice my body into a bunch of chunks, and you, I want you to go get sugared up, syruped up, squeezed into a f***ing packet. I don't know, there's just something weird about this visual representation of your... Is it a metaphor? You know what? Who gives a shit? Me trying to explain that I'm actually a really good person. I just got my heart broken when I was 14 by the love of my life, which made me into the nonchalant, unlovable, manipulative, narcissistic, and uncaring person <gasps> that I am today. They should have finished that whole sentence off with something. Uh, but, look, I said it once before that, you know, kids having relationships, you know, that's valid. I'm tired of people going, Going, yeah, you were 14. It doesn't mean anything. Idiot. As though that's not formative years for you. Sure. But I don't know. There's something. I don't believe you. I don't believe you in particular here. Okay. Uh, what is, uh, what's, uh, what, what's this one? Is that guy dead? Who is that? What's happening? The dumbest men on earth are fighting. No, sir. The real fight is between the spirit of Abel and the spirit of Cain. The real fight's not between right and left, but rather between humanist and extinctionist. Nah, it's the rich and everybody else. Wrong. People can only have have debates if people exist. Therefore, existing is paramount. Everything else is icing on the cake. You guys should absolutely disappear.
here. Yeah, I don't shut up. If you see a car, then you should believe that we can see things in different perspectives. Don't claim you know it all. Please zoom in to see the real picture. Okay, guys, I'm gonna zoom in to see the real picture. Okay, I'm uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, okay, I don't know what you guys are seeing, but I'm seeing a bunch of trees. Uh. Okay, then. That's bye. In chess, white and black pieces are bitter enemies, but those who move the pieces are usually good friends. Okay. Again, I see what you're saying, but who said that white and black are bitter enemies? They're just opposing teams in a game. They're not real! 19th century, 21st century. Imagine living in a society where even the draining pipes are beautiful. <laughs> where? Okay, hold on. What do you think that beautiful drain pipe is? Where do you think it is? Oh, in a society, dumbass. What are you talking about? Stop looking for happiness in the same place you lost it. Okay. W w what else you want me to say? A poor kid once told a billion. I'm gonna be rich. Everyone laughed, except the billionaire. <laughs> Man, shut the hell up. Elon Musk ain't gonna give you any f***ing money, dude. Hmm. Okay. This is one of the dumbest images I've ever seen in my life. Right. Because we like entertainment. Which, by the way, entertainment at this point is pretty necessary for people's mental health. It always kind of has been. Humans get goddamn bored. It's one of the problems of being a conscious, very self-aware being. We need things to f***ing do. Staring at the wall all day or sitting in a tree that's not going to cut it for us. Okay? I'm sorry that Netflix provides fun entertainment. I'm sorry that we're all a bunch of horny bastards that like porn and sex and stuff. Ooh, we're all f***ing morons, and you're so smart. Why should I give up porn? It makes me feel good. There's no harm in it. There is no disease so destructive as lust. Shut your goddamn mouth. That doesn't make... No, screw you, asshole. I'm so tired of that. Yeah, I think porn's fun, and there's no harm in it, as long as there really isn't any harm behind the production of said content. Yeah, who gives a shit? Everyone's consenting of legal aid, yada 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 going through all the ethical questions. Sure, if it's all up to snuff, absolutely no harm in it. But don't discount that there actually can be a lot of harm in that industry, okay? There absolutely can be. But quit talking about sex and physical affection and all this stuff as though it's evil, okay? Sorry, f***ing off. Good for you, okay? <laughs> While the world is falling apart thanks to porn, oh my god, thanks to porn, lust, and social media, be a man who will be a true role model for children. Build your empire, work on your mindset, and become successful by reading the caption. <laughs> Mind your own business? Every pothole starts small. After being ran over by many different cars, it grows, and soon the cars will start avoiding it. This meme isn't about potholes. And it's funny, I know exactly what you are saying because you're not hiding it very well at all. Yeah, I get it. You're one of those guys that thinks if a woman has slept with more than a few men, she's got this messed up vagina. Not how that works, by the way. You're just f***ing weird and think that every woman in the world who would ever be remotely interested in you owes you a flawless body that has never even been sought. Like, you're a f***ing freak. And I'm sorry about all the cursing to the editor. I'll try to rein it in, keep it in check going forward. But wow, how disgusting are you, bro? This statue represents your weight value is not the number of kilograms or size, but the number of books you read. A person who doesn't read books is like a body without soul. That, okay. The pain wasn't your fault, but the healing is your responsibility. This is deep. No, that's AI dumpster trash. And if it's not, if that is not an AI-generated image, I'm sorry, but you need to go with a different style because your art looks AI-generated. It is. It is. Don't worry. Regardless... <laughs> I understand the healing is your responsibility. Sure, my, my problems are literally no one's but my own. Salute to the creativity of this artist. Poor, rich, uh, could have been slightly more creative. Uh, I don't know, man, sheesh. Just found out about Rick and Morty. This hits home. Oh my God, dude, shut up. What, five years ago, wow. What people call love is just a chemical reaction that compels animals to breed, blah, 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 blah. Do you know how smart you have to be to like Rick and Morty, guys? Yeah, that joke is still fresh after all this time because people still unironically look at who is supposed to be one of the worst goddamn characters on TV. He's a complete asshole, obviously. I think maybe twice has he ever been okay-ish from what I remember watching. They look at these characters and go, oh, that's so me. It's like looking at the Joker and going, mm, that's so me. Or, ooh, God forbid, people that look at Cartman and go, oh, that's so me. Dude, you should be in prison then, you freak. Okay. Yes, I am a nice 
person, but if you cross the line too many times, everything can change very quickly. When did he say that? When did he say that? I mean, I'd believe him, but when did he say that? Saying I can't be sad because other people have it worse is like saying I can't be happy because other people have it better. Sure, I do agree with the sentiment you're getting across here, absolutely. Quit gatekeeping emotions. I am allowed to be sad or upset while still doing better in life or having more privilege than someone else. You do not get to tell me that I am not allowed to be sad or be happy because someone else is happier or more sad or is going through something different, even inherently worse than myself. You can't do that. That is not how that works. Don't trust everything you see. Even salt looks like sugar. Yeah, we literally all know that. Do you think you're smart for realizing that salt and sugar look the same at a distance? Or hell, even up close. Sure, you could put them under a microscope and finally see that difference. Do you think you're cool? Sorry, you're overqualified. It's a powerful metaphor. A lot of old-fashioned bosses that refuse to adapt to new technology will purposefully not hire younger workers that embrace tech because they feel threatened. They should feel threatened. Either change with the times or you're going to lose your job to someone that does. Change is inevitable. It is. However, if you're in power, like in any real position of power, uh, who's to really take it from you? We are lost. We are saved. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because the Bible and other holy books are the answers to literally everything forever. All you gotta do is read it and you're cured of everything. Everything! It's not where you start, but how far you go. What? What do you, uh... Before you buy a car, make sure the previous owner doesn't still have a set of keys. This post isn't about cars. D seriously? Another one? Your shadow is the person who wants you dead. Uh, what the hell does that mean? Are you trying to be deep or are you trying to freak me out? Motivation picture with deep meaning part 42. Oh, get it? Because kids are fucking stupid because they understand different imagery and grew up in a different time than their parents and grandparents did. Therefore, because I'm younger, I'm a worthless piece of garbage who doesn't know anything and I'm a fucking moron. The smaller the brain, the happier you are? Ignorance is bliss, my friend. Ignorance is bliss. You know, even willful ignorance. Childhood pics looked dumb, but at least the smiles were real. <laughs> okay. Boyfriend girlfriend, best friend. Not true. I'm sure it has been true for plenty of people in many situations, sure. But it is not the rule. It is absolutely not written in law. That's not just how everything works because you may have experienced it. The sad truth about modern society. What is? What, we're looking at the same image, right? What, what, what's the sad truth? Explain it right now. What is the sad truth that I am looking at? And my balls are full of Szechuan sauce. Wait, what? They are? Some people have sugar on their lips, but venom in their hearts. Yeah, okay, I'd believe Szechuan balls. Screw my feelings. My mom needs a stronger son. What? If you give a person too much too soon, they'll fall in love with your hand and not your heart. And that really hit deep. I don't know how because that doesn't make any sense. The book Resuscitate a Bad Screen Out of Soul? Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not able to parse this one. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, microchip. What's this? Oh, you people make me so sad. AirPods ain't loud enough. I can still hear the voices in my head. Okay, uh, that is probably one of the most surface level things I've ever read in my life. Someone who started Poetry 101 and doesn't quite understand it just yet. Okay. All right. Uh, what the, huh? Okay. Oh, okay. Someone's going to try and explain it. She had a birthmark on her neck, but didn't like it and had it removed and now wears a necklace that looks just like it in the same place. Because after all, millions of people have perfectly circular, perfectly black birthmarks that look just like necklaces, which also happen to be infamous for being worn permanently and never having any special meaning at all. I had a very large birthmark removed from my leg as a kid because there was a very good chance it would become cancerous. So, even aesthetics aside, the bozo who posted this can't even comprehend there might be other reasons for the mole removal. Oh, I thought she was an avid smoker and that was the hole the doctors gave her to breathe. I survived because the fire inside me burned brighter than the fire around me. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. That's fine. AI is taking advantage of us. Um, right. Sure. Okay. Not that it's taking advantage of us. It's that the people that created the AI are taking advantage of us and stealing goddamn jobs, all the while making everybody at the top of the food chain in terms of money-making venues think it's a fantastic idea that won't come back to bite us all in the ass. When every single job is unhirable because a single AI program does it better, what's going to happen? 
Sure, we're not there yet. We're a longer way off than even I would assume. But do you think it's impossible? Because it's not. It's not. They are going to do everything in their power to make sure that just that happens. Um, it was actually the name of the book. What was? Knowledge is knowing that Frankenstein was not the monster. Wisdom is understanding that Frankenstein was the monster. Okay, man, media literacy, bro. This is not art. This is not beauty. This is not fashion. This is not architecture. Okay. So who are you to definitively say whether or not anything is anything? Since you're so goddamn confident and up on your high horse that that's not art, that's not beauty, that's not architecture, fashion, what have you, uh, why don't you tell us what is objectively art, beauty, fashion, architecture, you name it. Why don't you go ahead and do the flip side of this meme for us so that we can see you, oh lord, of being better than us. What are these things? What is? I have no enemies. I am the enemy of the world. Everyone is my enemy. Okay. YouTube shorts. I'm confused about the last two. Okay. Life is too short to hide things. Don't be afraid to say what you feel. Um, all right. Uh, I don't, um, mm, I got nothing. Sorry. Every man is a liar. Might just be my new favorite Bible verse. I guess. Sure. Right. Giving someone a second chance is like reading a book all over again, knowing how it ends. No, that is not how that works. In a lot of cases. But hey, fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. I'm going to kick you in the nuts with a jacket. How about that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I can't think of anything. The Eagles were right. We are all just prisoners here of our own device. Okay. I want you to look at a photograph of, I don't know, coffee houses didn't really exist back then. I want you to go look at a photograph of, say, people riding the bus or the train even back in the 30s and 40s. Sure, not a phone in sight. However, just like now, we're all pretty antisocial in our own special way, so they would bury their f***ing faces in their news devices of the day. The paper. We still make the newspaper, blah, blah, blah. I get it, all that fun sh**. And I understand that this photo is presumably of a bunch of friends sitting down. It doesn't even look like a real damn photo to me, man. It looks like they all posed for this. Ha ha, phone bad. <laughs> ha, boobs. 1300 people like it. Boobs. Add me down. Boobs. OMG oh, so pretty. Without boobs. Three people like this. Okay, but your boobs are still there. You just have a heart over them. So, there. what do you mean no boobs? You got them. You didn't remove them. I know. I know. They're just hidden. Shut up. If hard work pays off, show me a rich donkey. So you know those podcasts that offer relationship or life advice that are clearly dipped in their own confirmation bias or prejudice against the opposite Agenda. Yeah, this is the advice they give and think they're smart. Sad story. Not on my watch. A girl wanted a ring, but the boy gave a teddy bear instead. In anger, the girl threw the bear on the road. The boy wanted to take it back, but he was hit by a coming car and died. Yay! At his funeral, the girl hugged the bear and the machine in it spoke. Will you marry me? Guess what she found? A ring inside it. I'm not crushing the road. The road is crushing my forest. Ah, so deep. Just like the reach for this entire scenario to be plausible. I hate when a 22-year-old speaks to me like we're on the same level. Yes, we are both technically adults, but you need half a dozen real adult heartbreaks, some dark bouts with alcoholism, about a decade of depression, and a rock bottom before you approach me as an equal. Right, sorry, I'll stop speaking to you as a friend then, I guess. Let me get back to you when I too have done things that are kind of my own life choices that I just haven't actually developed any healthy habits to overcome. Jeez, wow, okay, <laughs> this is pain hub, all right? It's just self-pity on steroids. Mmm, sap up that self-confirmation bias. How to impress a girl, respect her, honor her, protect her, care for her. Weird, right? It's almost as if you, you know, you like them or something and you care about them. What weird. How to impress a boy. Say hi. Ah, oh, it's true. Men do have it worse. It's not at all our own fault for making standards too easy for women to impress us. Rich but dumb. Poor but smart. Rich and smart? Smart ash. Okay, well, that one's actually funny, so I, I think that one's good. Boyfriend? Girlfriend? Best friend? Okay, no, this one's actually really good. He's in the firing line for those scissors to absolutely kill him, and all he has to do to save himself is walk away. There is literally nothing stopping him from just taking a step back. But he won't, because ooh, pity me, woman likes someone else. And apparently that's a bad thing, because liking someone is, is wrong. 
unless you're the best friend. You're allowed to like who you like, and they have to like you back. Boy. Marry me. Do you have a house? No. Do you have a BMW car? <laughs> it's never that specific. Come on. No. How much is your salary? No salary. You have nothing. Genuinely well-estimated guess. How can I marry you? Leave, please. Boy, talking to himself. I have one villa. Three property lands. Property lands? What? Three Ferrari. Two Porsche. Why I still need to buy BMW? How can I get the salary when actually I'm the boss? I mean, the fact you as a boss don't give yourself a salary really shows you have very little understanding of financial stability and personal responsibility. Me. How do I get a job? How do I pay taxes? How do I buy a new house? School. Well, actually, x equals negative b plus if you square root the b squared, take away 4 a con is to uh, divide it. Yep, though. Welcome, class, to what, what is wrong with this meme? Today's competitor. A childhood is not a disease. In 1980, it was daydreaming. 2014, ADHD. That's not even the proper name of the rock band. Back in my day, it was just hormones. But now, ooh, it's bipolar. Back then, you're just a loner. But now, it's some global financial crisis. Oh, kids are so dramatic these days. Do you see it? Do you see the where's Wally of what makes this meme stupid? If you said everything, Yes, you're correct there too, but the main thing is none of these are a disease. Gosh, I hate having to do a quick rat test because I might possibly have some bipolar from school. <laughs> also, oh no, we're discovering the more technical reasons people have these habits and behaviors. Oh dear. What a shame we understand people more and have now ways and methods to deal with it. Scooby-Doo taught us that the real monsters were always human. It also taught you that dogs seem capable of speech, so... Maybe uh, take it subjectively. Oh boy, Pain Hub, you're back for more, I see. I love you. I love you. You are a bitch. I love you. I love you. I love you. Bitch? Theory confirmed. No matter how many times you say I love you to women, she will always see the bad things. Bro, it literally stands out. How? Huh? What? If anything, this teaches the fact that overcompensating with affection just causes your partner to find it less sensitizing. Wait, is that even a word? Screw it, it's a word now. Sensitizing. Oh, wait, look at that. It actually is a word. Yay! For once, when I try to sound smart, I actually sound smart. Good students become good employees. Self-learners become employers. That's just a daily reminder that these are like the 0.1% of people who actually succeed being self-learners. Oh, this is that character from the boys TV show. At age five, she wants to be a ballerina. At age eight, she wants to be an astronaut. At age 10, she wants to be a teacher. At age 13, she wants to be a doctor. At age 16, she wants to be dead inside. De dead inside. See, now now it's just a joke about mental health, and therefore it's monetizable on YouTube. Huzzah! We saved the meme, everyone. Be thankful for what you have. Oh, I wish I had shoes. Doopy doopy doop, excuse me, sir, just coming by. Aw, oh, gee, you know what? Maybe walking around barefoot is actually fine. So what if I get an infection and have to get them cut off? Seeing only one side is very dangerous. You thought he was saying frick you with a gesture? He was actually saying it three times. Be careful when you follow the masses. Sometimes the M is silent. Ah, I've made a mistake. If I were white and not Will Smith's silly son, I would be the most respected philosopher of our and all time. Oh, mate, come on. <laughs> most philosophers have this skill in, you know, um, actually remembering to use words like age. Maybe try collecting a bit more of that stuff before you come back here touting to be a philosopher. Giving up too soon. Hustling too hard. Working smart. Also very ignorant to the people who are literally building below you, which your weight is clearly going to cause the whole place to collapse and kill yourself and two others. But who needs physics when you have motivation? Oh damn, that shit hurt. What's that in your mouth? A cigarette. You said you wouldn't smoke. You said you wouldn't leave. But did it look like I was trying to? Well, no, I'm just saying I- The dude used some sort of bullshit plot device to stab himself to kill me. Kai, come on, that's just cheating. Okay, yeah, I get that, but like- Why is the ninja in that, huh? You get there, tell me, come on. I thought we were ninjas, not freaking wizards. 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 
And did you see this meme? Ha 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 ha, amazing. Did I show you this? Oh my god, so good. Spending most of our lives on our phones brings us closer together. Ha 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 ha, I barely know what's real anymore and I am loving it. Yes, it is only this time in history where some sort of technological advancement has actually had a bad side to it. After all, fire was only ever used to cook things and generate energy. Explosions were only ever used to build tunnels. Vehicular transport has only ever been used to transport goods and services. But phones, yeah, they're definitely the reason people suck now, yep. Girls, boys' life is so easy. Boys' life, depression and anxiety. <laughs> Friends, <laughs> girls. Really gonna question this person's standard of a friendship when that friend is literally beating them up as heavily as depression and anxiety. Netflix doesn't cost $17.99. It costs your time. That's literally how you earn money? With your time? Okay. A Big Mac doesn't cost $3.99. It costs your health. Well, neither is an acai bowl if you're someone who doesn't consider their calorie intake throughout the day. Social media isn't free. It costs your focus. Unlike developing a hobby or skill, that doesn't require any brain power at all, apparently. The lesson? There is always a hidden cost. Not hidden, it's just something you consider less valuable than the thing you get as a result from it. You're not an idiot or loser or lazy if you enjoy these things. You just need to consider what you value more. Then apply that to yourself. Like if you value your health, add some veggies to your Big Mac. No, french fries don't count. Ah. Well, here's a hot take. Doesn't Prague U try and sell itself as some sort of established university that you can actually study with or learn from? Why are they making themselves look like 14 year old boys? Men kill people, women kill society. <laughs> yeah, this society was going great for the last couple of centuries until those women came along and existed in the last, what, 20 years? I don't know. <laughs> when did feminism begin? As a gamer, I would like to thank women for killing society. This meme literally makes no sense. In the end, we won't remember the most beautiful face and body. We will remember the most beautiful heart and soul. Ah, that's cute. Also, very strong grip there, so ease it. Okay, buddy, that, that's, wow, geez. Zero to five, everyone loves you. Not if you're a child-free adult. Six to 12, you love everyone. 13 to 17, people start hating you. 18 to 30, you start hating people. And I guess once you're 31 and up, you just cease to exist. Andrew Sunken Chin Taint Liquor has been banned from Facebook and Instagram. When you stare at a man's tongue, you are not proving him a liar. You're only telling the world that you fear what he might say. Yes, Jordan, that's why you were fired from your job for all your sexist remarks, because the entire company was scared of you. When the nice guy gets tired of being mistreated, that's when society should be afraid. Afraid. The devil shivers when a nice guy loses his temper. Uh, hey, it's me, Santa. For the record, I shiver in cringe. Okay, let's just make that clear. Most boys won't get their first flower until their funeral. Oh, thank goodness I'll already be dead then. I don't want to be responsible for a plant that will die in like a day. Without a single degree, they built us roads that have lasted in eternity. And then the engineers arrived. This is a great example in basic human stupidity. For one, you go ahead and drive along that kind of rocky road at the same speed you drive down a motorway. If you enjoy bumpy rides, then well, it's not that much of a threat. This is deep. <laughs> Is it? I don't know what's going on, but I'm crying on just the thought of women thinking they look like Danny DeVito. I look just like him. You look nothing like the trash man. You couldn't compare to my Magnum Dom. Okay, here I will tell you three easy ways to... D uh, okay. Puff a cigarette daily. You will die 10 years early. Drink alcohol daily. You will die 30 years early. Love someone who doesn't love you back. You will die daily. <laughs> okay, as blunt as this is, this is actually kind of good life advice when you think about it. It's good to trust others, but not to do so is much better. I don't know. What has that person's anus done for me? If I walk by myself, at least I know I'm with someone I can trust. Ah, see, that just leaves you guard down for yourself, giving yourself an ample opportunity to betray yourself. Who needs Halloween costumes when everyone is already fake as frick? Because we need to give vampires a day to hang around in society without feeling judged, okay? It's part of the human vampire pact. Oh my gosh, get with the times. I love you so much. And in five years, I still love you. And in ten years? Ugh. Then I'll love someone else. Whoa, 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 who? Our child. This is Salty Eagle, we've got him. What? Get on the ground! Get on the ground! What's going on? That's Salty Eagle to you, mister. You're going away for a long time. As a kid, I loved zoos because I loved animals. 
As an adult, I hate zoos because I love animals. Not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to make a joke out of this one. <laughs> it genuinely is sad. She was an open book. He was illiterate. Mm. I think we can all feel that to some extent. You know, just a little bit. Lonely people tend to take longer, hotter showers to replace the warmth they're lacking socially or emotionally. <laughs> it makes sense, but I wonder if that's actually even a little true. Koala sleeps all day, only waking to eat and mate. Human work at least half of their waking life chasing commodities and making other humans richer. Human man, koalas sure are dumb, but they're not though. They're really smart. I don't even get the meaning of this. Don't bully furries, I guess. Don't touch the werewolf child. Hmm. Hold on. Let's see. Yes. Don't bully the werewolf child or the other ones will get you. There, there is no meaning here. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I let me, let me try and analyze it for two extra seconds. I'm different. Look at all these other people that are different just like me. No, that, that doesn't really... No, 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 no. It's a little too simplistic, I think. Gotta find a different way. My mind is a can't mess that escape. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I totally get it. I feel the exact same way most days. What's the message here? I have no idea. I don't know what kind... Oh, what? Huh? Why does everybody have Pinocchio noses? Are they lying about something? And what's that kid not lying about? I tried to be normal once. Worst two minutes of my life. Oh. Uh. Life. I mean, I guess. Okay, you're right. That guy gets to stand on way more books than I do. The United States of America. I'm a piece of paper and I can control your entire life. Okay. Who's the most stupid here? Everyone thinks four is stupid, but honestly, four is mood. Yeah, totally, bro. No, yeah, totally, man. Been called a monster, called a demon, called a fake. I'm not an idol, an angle, or a saint. I walk alone. I always have. I'm not ashamed. A living nightmare from the cradle to the grave. Sean, shut the hell up, dude. No one's ever called you a monster, a demon, or a fake. No one ever thought you were an idol, an angle, or a saint. No one ever, 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 ever did that. I don't even know you, and I know no one did that. Grab a plate and throw it on the ground. Okay. Did it break? Yeah. Say sorry to it. I did. Did it go back to the way it was? No, it's still broken. Do you understand? No. That's what you did to me, boy. Will you leave me? Girl. Nah. Do you love me? Yes, a lot. You have ever cheated on me. No. Why are you asking this? Will you kiss me? Yes, darling. Now read it all backward. I don't want to. I'm going to be honest with you. I really have no interest in doing that. Life's not fair for everyone. Okay. I mean, yeah, but okay. In the war of minds, only those with real knowledge can survive. Mm. Phone bad. So tear me open, but beware. There's things inside without a care. I bet the tattoo artist made fun of you after this. All the way to the bank. The expectations of others were the bars. I, oh, oh, I never, let me try it again. The expectations of others were the bars I used for my own cage. Okay. I mean, that's all I can really say to a lot of these is just, okay. All we have to do is stand up and their little game is over. I mean, yeah, pr pretty much, yeah. There's billions of us, there's like 2,000 of them. I think we'd win pretty quickly. About me. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. The longer you live, the more you realize that the only thing that truly exists in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. Okay, calm down, nine. This isn't New York City, okay? You need to chill, little dude. Nobody on Earth can ever love you more than your parents. That is so not true. So not true. Empathy is a weakness. LOL, Zeta, Omega, Sigma. I have parts of even Delta, cause screw relationship- wait, what? So yeah, four parts in my view of life and other thoughts. But yeah, empathy is a weakness, and if anybody tells you otherwise, keep them at bay. Great people are not born great, they grow great. I feel like one of these is not quite like the other, you know? You've got, soccer player wasn't always good at soccer. Rowan Atkinson was once younger and not famous. And then you have Robert Downey Jr., who struggled with a lot of other things that's not quite what these other two have gone through, necessarily. 
Mm, you pick in what direction you will grow. Uh, that is, uh, is he just making an ass? Because I'm going with that guy. I'm not a brain man. I'm an ass man. Deep meaning pictures. Subscribe now. Absolutely not. If that's the caliber of what you post here, why in the hell would I? <laughs> that is so stupid. Those who want power are the ones who least deserve it. I think H Bomber guy said it best. My brother in Christ, you bought the fucking website. People run from rain, but sit in bathtubs full of water. Wow, Bukowski, so profound of you. Do you also bathe fully clothed, you dickhead? Oh, isn't it funny that a person will eat when they're hungry, but will duck if you throw an apple at their face? Young me was spitting bars. Instead of Facebooking your problems, face your problems. Ooh, smart. Going out in public. Poor, rich, super rich. Sure, man. I mean, it's it's been quite obvious for a long time that billionaires seem to have absolutely zero sense of style. How Stonehenge works with the sun and seasons. We think that we're more advanced than our ancestors because of our technological advances, but our ancestors used the most complex machine in existence, our brain. Something that nowadays is rarely seen in use. Or, in this particular case, used to make dumb fucking tweets. Just like everybody else, you'll get bored of me, you'll get annoyed of me, you'll hate me, you'll stop talking to me, you'll leave me, eventually. Now read it back- no, I'm not gonna read this crap backwards, stop it. It's not gonna happen, girl. A, B, C. Oh, is this gonna be another one I have to read backwards? Boy. What? Always be careful. Uh, and then, D, E, F, G. Don't ever forget that. Forget that? I'm H, I. What H, I? Happily in love. So? J, K, L, M. Just keep loving me. Oh, God. And how about N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z? No other person quite responsible shall treat you very well except me, you'll Z. That was so terrible. They couldn't really think of how to properly do it, like, halfway in. Okay, let's see here. Uh, right. Okay. This says so much without words. It really does. This isn't saying crap, dude. What are you talking about? Relative. Time is relative. Beauty is relative. Family is relatives. Dude, that's crazy. School should teach you how to become rich in 20s, not how to retire in your 60s. Don't think he ever said that, but it sounds like something just stupid enough for him to have said. What's the secret to eternal happiness? To not argue with fools. I disagree. Yes, you are right. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's, that's a good one. That's, that's crazy. Rule number 115. If they stand behind you, protect them. If they stand beside you, respect them. If they stand against you, show them no mercy. Ooh, are you also very badass? Sadly, this is our society. This is the most nonsensical goddamn thing I think I've ever seen in my life. And I've read tens of thousands of these memes, so that's saying something. My alone time is sometimes for your safety. Don't forget about that. The hell is there a Care Bear here for? Let the kids believe in Santa. You believed she was yours. What does that even mean, bro? Why are you cosplaying like a cool dude? I'm not saying that I think that someone that dresses like this is a cool guy. Just, you know what I mean. You understand humor, I hope. Woke up, went to school, saw my crush, hugged my crush, kissed my crush, I cried. Pick the correct order. Three, four, five, one, six, two. Three, four, five, one. Six. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate, bro. When you see someone starting to get bad attendance and start crying in school. Sure. Seven sad truths about girl. If a girl laughed too much even at stupid things, she's lonely deep inside. If a girl love sleep a lot, probably she is sad. If a girl speaks less but speaks fast, she keeps secrets. If a girl doesn't cry, she is mentally strong. If a girl become angry over silly or pretty things, it means she needs love. If a girl is mute, she is dying from inside. If a girl say, leave me alone, she needs you too much that time. <laughs> Who wrote this and why were they nine? If hard work pays off, show me a rich construction worker. So simple, yet so loud. No? Dear optimist, pessimist, and realist, while you guys were busy arguing about the glass of water, I drank it. Sincerely, the opportunist. Sins. 
Good deeds. Good deeds. Sins. This man is bad. This picture's so deep. Sadly, I think only a small percent of people will be able to understand it. No, no, plenty of people get it. It's not hard, it's not deep, it's very surface level and obvious. Smartphone is the new cigarette. Notification is the new nicotine. Nah, cigarettes and nicotine are the new cigarettes and nicotine, dude. Always have been. As a February guy, I only trust someone who can see three things in me. The sorrow behind my smile, the love behind my anger, the reason behind my silence. The f is a February guy. If Adam was spending time with Eve, she wouldn't have had time to talk to the snake. She wasn't getting attention. Don't think that's how that goes. So tell me about yourself. I'm not rich, but... Wow, that sure is incredibly untrue and stupid. 1989. Throw him into chemical waste! 2019, throw him into the giant. God, I didn't even like that movie. Me, IRL. I find social media to be a soul-sucking void of meaningless affirmation. Oh, you're so quirky. You're not like the other girls. Although to be fair, it's Wednesday. I think she's always been the epitome of not like other girls, huh? I hate small talk. I want to talk about atoms, death, aliens, moon, moon, magic, intellect, the meaning of life, faraway galaxies, the lies you've told, your flaws, your favorite sense, your childhood, what keeps you up at night, your insecurity and fears. I like people with depth, who speak with emotion from a twisted mind. I don't want to know what's up. Okay, cool. I'm really glad I don't ever have to talk to you. The fact that there's a highway to hell and only a stairway to heaven says a lot about anticipated traffic numbers. <laughs> I mean, this one's kind of true, though. As I grew older, I started to realize there's 8 billion people and 16 billion faces. Don't forget that. Okay. If you still think about it in the shower, you're not over it. This hit me hard. I'm gonna hit you harder. That's stupid. The devil whispered in my ear. You're not strong enough to withstand the storm. Today I whispered in the devil's ear, I am the storm. Yeah, brother. Good leaders hire people based on strengths and potential, not weaknesses to massage their egos and fixed mindset of being held on a pedestal. I mean, I don't care about that stupid bit of text there. I like this image though. I mean, come on. Sonic's the perfect guy for the job. Santa, what you want? Me, a loyal girlfriend. Sure, but wait till 31 February. Ha, 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 wow, that was really funny. There was a blind girl who hated herself just because she was blind. She hated everyone except her loving boyfriend. He's always there for her. She said that if she could not see the world, she would marry her boyfriend. One day, someone donated a pairs of eyes to her, and then she can see everything, including her boyfriend. Her boyfriend asked her, oh my f god, now that you can see the world, will you marry me? The girl was shocked when she saw that her boyfriend is blind too and refused to marry him. Her boyfriend walked away in tears and he wrote a letter with the help of his friend to her saying, Just take care of my eyes, dear. I love you. Who do you think gave you the tall? Psychology facts. Tears don't come when you miss a person, but they come when you don't want to miss a person. That is not a psychology fact. What? He's typed. Will be a window into his madness. Oh no, Marge, don't do this. Only three animals go to war in large numbers. Ants, termites, and humans. Two are considered mindless drones following orders of the elite, but somehow I feel like all three are mindless drones. You can be legally 21, but 30. You can also be legally 24. What? What is that? What? No, 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 read that again. That doesn't make any sense. Here, I'm gonna do it like three more times. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Right, right. No, this doesn't make any sense. If I need you and you weren't there, I'll never need you again. Tough, cool people photograph. It doesn't say that, but that's the vibe I'm getting. Never fact check an introvert. They don't just say things. They've read, researched, reflected, and watched the eight-hour documentary twice before they even open their mouth. Your facts come from TED Talks. They've been to the deepest, darkest rabbit holes. We're not the same. <laughs> I've got a sneaky suspicion that you're barely right about anything you say. If your Wi-Fi connection slows down, it means more people are using it. This post isn't about Wi-Fi. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. If you throw me like a meat in the wolf pack, you will see me a week later leading it. What? Trust is a five-lettered word. So is myself. You get what I mean? No. A lot can happen in a week. A lot can happen in a week. You could die or even get sick. You could break up and even make up. 
It may just be seven days, but in that time, things can change. You could get a pay rise, or even bleach in your eyes. You could lose someone you love and watch them fly away like a dove. You could lose a limb or two, but that's just life. I hope you knew. Why does this sound like a weird Shel Silverstein poem from where the sidewalk ends? We're living in this type of society. No, we're not. Okay, we got a guy with a really long head. Oh, he downsized his head for no reason. As a 13-year-old, I'm mad about the other kids I'm growing up with. I'm not one of those stupid little whiners. Yes, you are. You're doing it right now. I can actually think for myself and understand deep concepts. I guess you could say it is how my parents raised me, and you could be right. But I also think I'm one of those kids that actually has a brain. Oh, he's not like other kids. Blurst yin and yang. Yin and yang of world hunger. Okay, no, I'm out of here. Don't feel bad if someone rejects you or ignores you. People usually ignore expensive things because they can't afford them. Yes, that's why all the women are ignoring your DMs, because they can't afford you. I am doing air quotes as I say that. Also, the Joker never said this. Before you start anything, learn how to finish it. This is, and that's actually quite sound advice. Got a question why the anything and how are in capital letters. Were you planning to start there and just forgot to edit it? Unpleasant truths. No customers. Comforting lies. Uh, no, no way. P -p People prefer comfort over discomfort. Whoa, it's mind boggling. And hey, maybe it's not so much the product he's selling, but the person who's selling it that's making it such a bargain. How could you not be socially disarmed by the enamor of a man with shady glasses, a mustache, and beard like that where he's balding at that spot there? Okay, maybe if he's at a kid's playground, I would be suspicious. First we were like this. Then we went to this. Please don't bring the pinky out. Please don't bring the pinky out. Somehow, oh, thank God. it became like this. Now I'm like this. I'm someone who insults walls now. Hey, you wall. Yeah? Screw you. I wish someone would. It amazing. We live in a world where people can name 50 anime characters, but can't name all 50 states. I assure you, if there was an anime of every character being based off one of the 50 states, everyone would know the 50 states. As it was foretold in the Bible, you can't put loyalty on a hoe. From Enchants 416. To most people, Black Mirror is just another horror program. But to those with a sharper eye, a darker picture starts to emerge. A scathing satire of our very own society. Hashtag really makes you think. About what? The literal premise of the show. Like, congrats, bro. You've gone as deep as reading the bio of season one. Like, geez, man. Falling into your rabbit hole must be like a slight decline in one's footing. Happiness has an expiration date. We just forget when it expires. Quote from me. <laughs> that's, that's not how quoting works. <laughs> like, put your name so we know who specifically wrote this. I <laughs> People are going to share this quote around. It's just going to say me every single time. Girl. Yes, finally. This is the moment. Boy, will you ever leave me? Nah. <laughs> what kind of response is that? Do you love me? Yes, a lot. Have you ever cheated on me? Ah, uh, are you crazy? Of course not. Do you want to kiss me? Every time I get the chance. Would you ever hurt me? Why are you even asking this? No. Can I trust you? Yes. Boom. Gasp, no. Will you marry me? Now read it backwards at your own risk. Ugh, okay. Will you marry me? Yes, not bad. Yes, can you trust you? Why are you even asking this? No. I swear to God, this feels like I'm trying to learn a new language. I'm just gonna move on. You get the gist. Hush, kids. It's not dad anymore. It's an outdated meme. It's morphin' time. Oh wait, I get. There's an there's an alcohol bottle in his hand. I <laughs> I honestly thought this was just meant to be some sort of scary horror image. No, it's meant to be a deep and meaningful thing about alcoholism. Okay, whoopsie. <laughs> just made a joke out of a serious issue. Which I never do. Just watch a wholesome memes video. I'm, I'm never bad in those. Cult slash culture. What, what are you trying to do, Elon? They have the same letters, so therefore they're both equally as bad as each other. Ah, I see you've just learned that some words look like other words. Well done, man. Did you know the son is also technically a child then? Oh. I have parental custody over it. Uh-huh. You are telling me that people who are in relationships can touch each other's private part but cannot touch each other's phones because phones are private? 
Okay. This message brought to you by the Insecure Partners Guild. Because remember, if you can't see what your partner's doing, they're doing the worst thing possible. Every time he blinks, he's trying to drift off into a fantasy with another woman. No cell phones, just a man leading by example, showing his kids how to learn the old-fashioned way through the pages of books. Now, nah, see, one of them has headphones on, though. They're clearly still doing something with technology, and therefore they are failing as people somehow. Also, get off that train. That's lazy. You should lead by example, sir, and walk everywhere. In the end, you only have yourself. I don't know what the artist is trying to do here, but I don't appreciate that that self is just a floating left hand. You do you, buddy, but also maybe not like that. 80% of boys have girlfriends. Rest of the 20% are having a brain. Wow, and look, there's 14 other different dosages of copium for you to take just because girls aren't dating you in high school. Kudos to the artist. This picture has a very deep meaning. 100. Sometimes we are with wrong person and this makes our life miserable. Okay, but do you see how the only thing that makes them compatible here is the fact they would screw each other better? <laughs> Literally? Like that doesn't make them compatible. That just makes them a good fling for each other. This only justifies swinging. <laughs> God is the word good without one of the letter O's. Devil is the word evil with an added letter D. And that is why you never give the D to an evil woman because then you're creating the devil. Honestly, I'm surprised some Christian nut job hasn't made that correlation yet as an excuse not to sleep before marriage. How to be cold. I'll be honest, I thought this meant temperature. Stay quiet after disrespect. Show no emotions. Walk like you don't give a frick who the king is. Walk slower. It makes you look scary. <laughs> Noticing none of these traits make anyone actually want to be around you. Stay calm in serious situations. See who's blocked you. Share other blocked. If you want to get paid for walking, check out my page. <laughs> Wait, is that God damn it, this was an ad the entire time. For what though, like delivering pamphlets in the mail? Look, they're certainly targeting the right audience. You'll never understand my pain. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. Everybody has their own problems, just different levels. This life advice is like fairy tales, consistently being regurgitated by someone else in an attempt to make it a bit more fresh and new and their own. Ah, oh, you fools! Wasting your life away going through the more easily accessible route that's actually a bit more of a nice journey and it looks kind of fun. When you could be exhausted like me breaking down this brick wall just to get straight to the end and not have any actually fulfilling journey as a result. Because as we all know, nothing ever feels boring or mundane when you get the reward straight away. Some people just act like they're trying to help you. Just get the ladder, man! I can't! We're playing reverse snakes and ladders! No. I gotta find you a snake! No! Picture with a deep message. The message being, no matter what life throws at you, you can still be somewhat stable as long as you have some tasty looking feet. I think it's very important that we bring up the fact that this microphone stand is for some reason not emitting a shadow. It is clear to me that this stand is a ghost. <laughs> Realize, realize, realize. If you read it to a blind person, it makes no sense. Sometimes you realize too late that what you're looking for is exactly what you just let go. Oh, why did she have to turn into a photo frame? <laughs> Everyone dies one day. Everyone. Even wolves. But not books. Not words. Words don't die. My son, three, who is a lot smarter than I am. Oh, frick off, Rebecca. He did not say that. Remember when school was kind of fun? We used to play family. Fortnite was fun. Kissing was gross. Music was always girly. What? That says a lot more about the music taste you grew up with more so than actual music, my man. Homework was easy. Rainbows were just rainbows. Christmas felt real. <laughs> Every day was a good day. Everyone wanted to go to the moon. You're probably never going to see me again, so have a good life. Yep, sounds like another 12-year-old no longer ignorant of world issues. Welcome to growing up! Average people hobbies. Television. Party. Gaming. Job. Rich people hobbies. Gym. Knowledge. Invest in mentors. Business. I love how they're trying to shame to just, what, enjoy doing things? If you're doing anything that is relaxing or comforting to you, then you're a failure. I'm always grinding. I don't even sleep anymore. Sleeping is for quitters. Some people just pretend to help you. Bro, no, I think that person is genuinely just stupid. You call it satanic because you hear the screaming. I call it life-saving because I hear the meaning. Millions saw 
before the apple fall, but only Newton asked why. Why did you do that? Sorry. You silly apple. Oh. You should be on the tree, not on the ground. Yeah. You want to buy some gravity? Oh, okay. You kids should be at school. Off you go now. Do breath stroke, please. You gotta be doing that. You gotta complete your assignment in breath stroke. Remove your birth date from social media and see no one will wish you except your mom. I do this and I personally enjoy not getting the spam. Like, oh, thanks. You got a notification to send this to me via Facebook or Instagram. I, I <laughs> it's not genuine and you know it. Chink, chink, chink. Common sense is not as common as you might think. Beg to differ, man's finishing out his sentence while also keeping the place he's locked into more cooler and comfortable for him. Also, I can only imagine how sore someone's butt must be to smuggle in an entire air conditioner. So yeah, no, they're a genius. No one can destroy iron, but its own rust can. Likewise, no one can destroy a person, but his own mindset can. And that, your honor, is why it's not my fault that I ran them over in my car. It was their mindset. They should have believed in themselves more. It's believe, not believe. Oh my god, we're going back to like 2008. It's shoddy, not girl. It's peace, not goodbye. It's a, hey, not hey. We're believers. That's how we are. Don't call us obsessed. Call us dedicated. Don't call us crazy. Call us in love. Don't call us fans. Call us believers. It ain't culty if you put a cute nickname on them. She thinks she's free now, but doesn't know that she lost what kept her protected. Just like hijab. Wow. Oh, that's weirdly threatening. Let's go to something more uplifting. No matter how poor you think you are, if you have a family, you have no chance of getting out of poverty. Thank you. This has given me the final push to abandon my wife and three kids so I can escape to Mongolia and live off my dream of being a sheep herder. Strange, but true. The lawyer hopes you get into trouble. The doctor hopes you get sick. The police hopes you become a criminal. The teacher hopes you are born silly. The landlord hopes you don't build a house. The dentist hopes that your teeth decay. The mechanic hopes your car breaks down. The coffin maker wants you dead. Only a thief wishes you prosperity in life. So all those things are only around because of the prominence of people getting into trouble or getting sick or becoming a criminal or being born silly. None of these professions created these things. You're trying to say sticks are created by rubbing fire together. Ah, just a casual little tea party between friends after the little fun game we had with our servants, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I must say, they certainly went crazy with that spare wine we had lying around. They made a mess of everything. <laughs> Black, white, gay, straight, religious, atheist, you. Wait, I'm not white or straight? What? What am I? Ah! This image could have a deep meaning. Unfortunately, it's overshadowed by the shadow puppets. I say, Nagini, I'm having a fine day today, are you? Sailor's Russia! Son. Father. Here, try this one. No, it doesn't fit. How okay? about this one? No, stop giving me yours. Look, Dad, maybe you don't have the final piece for me. And I think that's okay, though. You've already given me so much. You don't need to give me any more. Oh, okay. Have you tried this one? That's the same one, Dad. No, it isn't. Happiness is a state of mind. Look, to be fair, that third podium is bigger. That's, you know, he's got better landmass, therefore larger property value, therefore he's the wealthier one. A sad reality. What, it, I don't, what is this representing here? Is the heart crystallizing? It, is that meant to be cold, or like frost? Or is it like digitalizing and becoming 3D and stuff? I don't, like, what is this? Children see, children do. You know, some of these, though they can be rather cringy, are actually still rather informative. As intellectually educated we may feel we are when we're adults, it still can be easy for us to forget some basic life things. And sometimes the best way to convey information is to just put it into some sort of basic kindergarten level poster sort of educational level. And that's how Africa defeated the Western worlds. They dug up all their potatoes and just piled them onto the other countries. They all thought they were just getting some free chippies, but they were wrong. It's okay, Rebecca. Just keep staring at your phone. Eventually, the demon possessing your teddy bear will get bored and go away. Pain is your friend. Pain is your ally. Pain tells you when you have been wounded badly, but you know what the best thing about pain is? It tells you you are not dead yet. If you think that's deep and meaningful, wait till you hear about the fact that books are for reading. Whoa! Oh, no way! 
The truth is that airports have seen more sincere kisses than wedding halls, and the walls of hospitals have heard more prayers than any temple. This has been proven through shut up, just go with it, okay? Don't blame a clown for acting like a clown. Ask yourself why you keep going to the circus. Yeah, maybe because that's all the media shoves in your faces half the time. Assume you're always being manipulated. Who believes the media controls people? Yeah. yeah. Who believes they are being controlled? Oh, uh, well, I don't. Don't be afraid to be this person. Yes, you all are wrong. This is like the last resort level of propaganda someone resorts to when they have no other way of assuring or persuading others to know that they are in the right. Everyone's against me. They must be some sort of hive mind and a sheeple. Um, it's the Matrix. Yeah. Before TikTok. Before Tinder. Before OnlyFans. Before CNN. That's true. Boxing doesn't exist anymore. Neither do live in-person dates or relationships. Those, they're just all gone now. And I guarantee the man sharing this post about before CNN does not look like that. He has saggy man boobs and a beer gut. And no facial hair, which I guess is similar to that guy there, so it's somewhat accurate. I'm okay. I'm just standing in front of a wall with some weird graffiti all over it. It's nothing to do with me personally. The sacrifices a man makes to see someone's butt so deep and meaningful. Oh wait, the next image. <laughs> I didn't realize the two images were meant to be related to each other. Well, look, on some sites on the internet and some animes, it wouldn't make a difference. Oh man, it keeps going though. <laughs> okay, this is just a horrific idea. Either this man was born a ladder or he got surgery to become a ladder. What do you, why? I'm not jerking off into the toilet because... <laughs> I'm not jerking off into the toilet because I can't find a female to sleep with. I don't want my bloodline to progress in suffering of this miserable world. <laughs> In childhood, we loved heroes, but now we understand villains, too. Because we know they're bad, so we're so fascinated as to why they justify being bad. It's not that we want to be like them, we just want to understand them. It's that just subtle human primal urge to know and understand things. I'm not sure the logic of this exactly, but like, what, whispering rumors is now spread around on Twitter? I'm kind of just blown away by a man having a hole in his head where a bird just flies out of it. Mmm, yum yum yum, eat up influencers. In the end, everyone goes back to the lobby, even the winner. So what, you shouldn't bother celebrating when you win or you shouldn't strive to be the best? Women then, modest, shy, too afraid of being harassed for rejecting my advances in public, completely reliant on me, the man, for providing some sort of financial stability and shelter. Women now, allowed to divorce when they don't want to be with someone anymore? Showing as little or as much skin as they want to? Holding broccoli? Bleh, and having a level of independence now where they can focus on finding a partner that actually suits them as a person and to grow together with instead of someone they have to rely on to survive? No! Modern men have to work five times harder than their grandfathers for a woman 20 times worse than what their grandmothers were. 